what's good rebellion gang 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 welcome to live chats with ribbon wheels yo <sighs> excuse me it's a brand new day guys and obviously we've got some deep topics to talk about tonight so it's gonna it's gonna get deep it's gonna get deep deep guys but i'm going to you know have different sections of the the live tonight guys well let's, let me see if my microphone's close enough um so yeah it's going to be very interesting uh, we're going to be obviously talking about the britney spears situation we're going to be talking about project blue beam and we're going to be talking about a lot of different things but i'm going to have to have have keywords or should i say how do I say this? Um, different code words, I guess you could say that I have to use just because, you know, we're gonna be, I guess, addressing this as a conspiracy theory for the sake of being politically correct tonight. Obviously I have my own beliefs and I know what's real, but I have to present this as a conspiracy theory tonight if that makes sense so gang gang thank you for coming guys i don't know if you guys got notified that i was live or whether you saw the live randomly because some people who turn on the post notification bell um get notified when i go live some people don't You're here now. You're here now, guys. Um, in regards to leaving this video up, I'm going to see what happens, guys. I may leave this live up and I may not. It just depends. Obviously, we're going to be talking about topics that are controversial for some people. Now, let me just check, make sure my sound is working. Is the sound working yet, guys? Is it working okay? Give me one second. I just got to check. Yeah, I think we're working okay. Let me see. Yeah, I think we're working okay. Let me see. Sorry. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, bad. Well, what's up, Rebellion Gang? Welcome to the live. Also, donations are available tonight, so if you would like to donate to the channel, um, our goal tonight is to get to $12, only $12. We got, I can't remember how much we got last week, but any donations that you guys send my way, so appreciated. It um, helps the channel, fam. It really helps the channel. Also, make sure you smash that thumbs up button tonight or the like button underneath the live stream. It um, helps bring more people from the rebellion gang i'm excited i'm excited tonight to talk about topics that are actually worth talking about you feel me stuff that is worth talking about so let me know if you're here guys let me know if you're here in the chat i want to hear your thoughts tonight obviously i am the host but i want to hear what your guys thoughts are as well you're welcome to let me know Obviously, we have to keep it respectful in the chat. You feel me? You feel me? So we're going to be talk. Um, I'm going to have dinner soon. Now, obviously, I last week went out for dinner. We went on live on Instagram, and we traveled to McDonald's. I ended up getting the wrong uh, meal. The people and I think the people behind me ended up getting my meal. So I was feeling some type of way about it. I didn't get my McFlurry. I didn't get my chicken nuggets. <laughs> but it worked out in the end. I got four burgers and four fries. So 
Amen, same man. I was happy with that. Tonight, I'm just gonna have food from my from my crib. From my crib, guys. I'm just gonna have food from my crib. Probably some Coke, vanilla Coke, and probably some chips or something to eat, you know, while we talk about these topics tonight. We're gonna be here for three hours, guys. Yeah, three hours. And then I have um, an engagement I have to get to after this. But uh, yeah, man, we're gonna be here for a while. So let me know your thoughts tonight as well, guys. That reminds me, my PayPal. Let me put my PayPal on the screen for you guys. Let me get that for you. If you would like to donate to the channel, it is paypal.me forward slash Ruben Wills, guys. Even if it's just one dollar, you know your man will be so grateful, guys. It doesn't matter, big or small. I would appreciate anything, guys. And by the way, I'm only going to say this once, guys. I'm not going to keep talking about it throughout the night. So I'm just letting you guys know that the option is available if you want to help me out tonight guys the goal is twelve dollars okay i'm not going to say any more about that that's up to you guys paypal.me forward slash ruben wills so now i'm going to get my drink i'm going to get my chips and we're going to talk guys we finna go off tonight we finna go off tonight because we lit we lit <clears throat> Let me stretch. So we're going to talk about the Britney Spears situation. The news. We're going to talk about the Project Blooping. We're also going to talk about Dodger Cat. New video coming out. I think it's actually coming out right now, featuring The Weeknd. The Rihanna album, does anybody care? Or do they care? She um, may or may not be coming back. We're gonna talk about it, guys. We're gonna talk about... Aliens. The truth about them. The truth about this whole thing, guys. Uh, so yeah, this live is gonna be controversial for some people. But I don't care because this is my channel and I'm finna do what I want to do. You feel me? We're gonna have a Bible study at the end and we're gonna talk about how we tie Judgment Day or Revelation into what's happening before our eyes right now, guys. And you may not agree with me, or maybe you will. It's up to you. It's not my job to convince you per se, but it's my job to bring you the information. And then you guys do with it what you want to do with it. Whether you believe it or not. At least you can't say that you weren't told or that you weren't warned. So I guess I'm the man that is warning you and bringing you the information that you need. And it's up to you to do with that what you want to do with that so yes sir yes sir this is a deep conversation this is a deep conversation this is the kind of conversations that a lot of people don't want to have these are the conversations that Like I said, a lot of people don't want to have these conversations. Um, and a lot of this may go over your head, guys. And what I mean by that is you may not understand some of the things that I'm talking about. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's what Google is for. So take this information you learned tonight. You may already know some of this, some of this information. But if you don't, go to Google. Google it. It's free to do. Find out the information for yourself, guys. And do your research. That's all I can say. So, yeah, man. We're going to chill out tonight. We've got a few hours here. Well, three hours, I should say. We're just going to hang out. We're going to make it happen. Make sure you guys smash that like button for your man. 
and let's get into it guys hmm i'm just thinking about something all right guys i'm gonna get my drink and my chips i'll be right back hungry 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 hippo oh and i can't have any music on tonight guys i can't have any um music because even though it was copyright free music last week i still got copyrighted you're tripping you're capping so yeah i can't play any music in the background so i can't really get the vibes going in terms of music but i guess this kind of stream's not really well it is but this particular subject i guess is bro bro it's something we need to take seriously and i guess that's up to you right i'm gonna be right back let me get my food stay right there guys oh back in five minutes yeah Okay, we back here. All right. 
so I got my Coca-Cola vanilla, guys. This is a vanilla flavor. Check it out, check it out. Bomb. Bomb. Basically because of the vanilla. You feel me? Now, I heard that new T-Pain song today. Well, not the new T-Pain song. I heard it a while ago with Kehlani. Uh, I Like Dad. It's called I Like Dad. And they put the music video out, I think yesterday, I think it was. And they were, um, can you hear that? ASMR. ASMR. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. And uh, they put the new video out. Where's my bottle top? They put the new video out. And it's like a old school type of video with the... What do you call that? Throwback. Cowboy. Cowboy vibes. Yeah, the video was okay. Wasn't anything to rave about. But I like the song. I actually, I mess with the song. I mess with it. Shout out T-Pain. Now, I heard about T-Pain and the, uh, cheers. The situation with, um, Usher, my man Usher, and they had an altercation in the airplane back in two, oh, airplane as you would say in America, back in 2013 when they were going to the BET Awards, and Usher basically said to T-Pain that you effed it up for us, everybody, all the real singers and music. And you could take that both ways, you could laugh about it. But then at the same time, he took it very personal and he ended up getting into four years of depression. Because words can hurt people, guys. Um, it's definitely something that can affect people. For me, not so much at this point. I don't get affected by what people say. Thank God, it's been a long journey. But, you know, that can happen. And I can understand why he would feel that way. You know, I can understand why he would feel some type of way um, when people say that he's effed up music um, because of the auto-tune. Auto-tune. Got to try and put on my American accent there for you guys. If you can understand the, uh, the accent there. All right, guys, let's get into the breaking news. It is all about Britney Spears. Yes. Now I've got my salt and vinegar chips. This is Eta Ripple. Ripple's chip. Salt and vinegar. Fire. Fire. So Britney Spears is in, a, is in a situation called a conservatorship. I don't know if you guys know about what that is. Like I said, Google, googly Google is your best friend. But she's in a situation. She's been in the situation since 2008, I believe. Now, it's basically a, uh, a hold where her father oversees and overlooks all of her finances and is in control of her finances basically now we had the the court hearing we had the court hearing yesterday and um obviously she was there virtually virtually she was there via link and uh she addressed the court she finally addressed the court about the situation that is going on in her crazy life right now now Brittany was known to tell the media that she was fine she was okay you know nothing was going on I'm fine everything's fine but a lot of fans were able to put two and two together and realize that that is not the situation that is not the situation
boy can I tell you she she is surrounded by shysty people she's surrounded by shysty people and it's a shysty situation so her dad has been controlling her finances and he's been controlling a lot of areas of her life not just her finances but basically from the color of her cabinets to the people she dates um, all aspects all aspects of her life and she is a 39 year old female at this point why should somebody at 39 years old be treated like they're 15 or something years old like they're still a teenager you feel me it is not fair for somebody to be treated like that now we know that Brittany was a Disney kid she grew up if you guys don't realize she grew up in the Disney world on Mickey Mouse Club the Mickey Mouse Club and we all know what Disney do to their protégés or their children that are on their TV shows. I won't go too, de too deep into that, but do your research. Um, Disney, not the key, not the key, guys. It is not the one. I don't even want to say respectfully because it's just shysty. It really, really is. You feel me? Bruh bro and then obviously she ended up getting signed to jive records i believe it was that was the same label that chris brown used to be on this is in 1998 i think she was signed maybe 97 98 and then by 1999 obviously she became world famous when she dropped hit me baby one more time Excuse me and then obviously all the details came out about uh, 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 came out about what happened in her career and I have the audio guys I have the actual audio from the court hearing now where's my phone okay here it is guys we're gonna hear the actual audio from Britney Spears talking about what happened that day. I mean, not that day, what happened yesterday. She was talking about everything. So let me get that. You feel me? Now, you know, I grew up with Britney Spears as a straight male. It shows you the influence that she had um, obviously I'm an artist so you know I'm a singer if you guys don't if you're new to the channel um, so you know I was grow growing up around her music at that time and I'm um, you know I admit she did influence me in some type of way not really vocally but in terms of her influence in popular culture and I just feel some type of way about it. I feel sorry for her that she has to go through this. You know, it's it's a sad situation for everybody. Well, not really for everybody, for her, basically. And I was influenced by her. I was. Um, and I feel saddened that this is the situation that she has to go through. But let's listen to what Britney Spears had to say in the court. And this is her voice, guys. This is her voice right here. It sounded so deep that I didn't realize it was Britney's voice. Cause I was like, yo, she sounds super deep in here. Like her voice sounded deep and she was talking fast, fast. 
but that's because she was nervous and things like that you feel me so we're going to get to the news here we go the tea as the kids would say the tea all right like, let me eat this excuse me okay kids here we go this is Brittany talking I cried on the phone for an hour and he loved every minute of it the control he had a thousand dollars a month for this I cried on the phone for an hour and he loved every minute of it the control he had over someone as powerful as me as he loved the control to hurt his own daughter 100 thousand percent she's talking about her father you know the father that has control of like basically her finances and her life and he he was on the phone telling her that she's gonna have to pay a certain amount of money i think i believe it was for rehab sixty thousand dollars or something like that and then so Brittany is talking about what her father was saying to her on the phone and i'll let her talk he loved it he I loved packed it. my bags and went to that place I worked seven days a week, no days off Which in California, the only similar thing to this Is called sex trafficking Making anyone work, work against their will Taking all their possessions away That's right, so it's basically like She's she's in modern day human trafficking She's in modern day human trafficking If you guys don't know what that is, look it up She's also Basically under labour trafficking At this point, which means they're kind of Basically holding her captive And forcing her to do in her case the music industry and do performances and shows and you better dress like this you better dance like that you better do what we say or you'll be reprimanded things like that can you feel me bro it's a whole thing it's a whole thing credit card cash phone passport card and placing them in a home where they they work with the people who live with them they offer they all lived in the house with me the nurses the 24 7 security um there, there was one chef that came oh. there and cooked for me by the way i haven't heard this i waited till my life to actually hear this so i'm actually listening with you guys i'm finding out information as well so i knew it a little bit but now i'm finding out more here we go um daily on the, during the weekdays they watched me changed every day naked morning noon and night um what? my body i had no privacy door for my um for my room I gave they made her get dressed naked bro and they were watching her now that's a definition of shiesty that's a definition of shiesty no kizzy like what they gotta take the owl for that one they gotta take the owl for that one guys you cannot watch a grown woman naked like they think she's like a robot or something like come on bro that's sus and that's just shiesty Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Eight gals of blood a week. If I didn't do any of my meetings and work from ten, um, eight to six at night, which is ten hours a day, seven days a week, no days off, I wouldn't be able to see my kids or my boyfriend. I never had a say in my schedule. They always told me I had to do this. And ma'am, I will tell you, sitting in a chair ten hours a day, seven days a week, it ain't fun. And especially when you can't walk out the front door. And Man, she is angry, man. I can hear it in her voice. She is frustrated in the extreme. And I can understand that. That's crazy. That's tough, my guy. That's tough. That is tough. That's why I'm telling you this again two years later. After I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, it's a lie. I thought I just maybe I said that enough. Maybe I might become happy because I've been in denial. I've wow. been in shock. I am traumatized. You know, wow. fake it till you make it. Bruh, she's traumatized. You heard it from her own mouth. Tap in, guys. What do you think about this? She is traumatized by this. See, that industry, man. That industry is crazy. Like, obviously i'm not in the music industry to the point of a britney spears duh we know that but you know as i am entering into that realm or that industry if you want to call it that don't think that i don't know what goes on 
I'm aware of what all these things that are going on in, the, in that industry and it is next level it's next level guys and thank god i had the information that i that i know and the things that i know now obviously it would be different being in the industry when you are actually in it now that's a whole another that's a whole another story my dog that's a whole another story dog but I can, I can feel where she's coming from. I can feel it. <sighs> Give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. Hey, what's up? What's good? Beautiful brown girl. Candace, is that you? Beautiful brown girl love. I like that name. Sorry, it's like a little bit of a mukbang, live mukbang slash live at the same time. Make sure you guys smash the like button, yo. So the rest of the Rebellion gang know that we're live right now. Okay. Let's get back to it. This is Britney Spears' voice right now, guys. Telling us about the, the terror that she's going through. Mm. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute, gotta turn the volume up. What the heck? You better speak your truth. Oh, that truth. I cried, boom, I get eight gals of blood a week. Oh. If I didn't do boom, I get eight gals of blood a week. Boom, I get eight boxes, the 24 7 security. Um, there, there was one chef that came there and cooked for me um, daily on the, during the weekdays. They watched me change every day, naked, morning, noon, and night. Um, my body, I had no privacy door for my um, for my room. I gave eight gals of blood a week. If I didn't do any of my meetings and work from ten, um, eight to six at night, which is 10 hours a day, seven days a week, no days off, I wouldn't be able to see my kids or my boyfriend. I never had a say in my schedule. They always told me I had to do this. And ma'am, I will tell you, sitting in a chair 10 hours a day, seven days a week, it ain't fun. Especially... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I can like just tell that she's so serious because it's the way that she's coming across to the the judge. It ain't fun. It's like you know she's really trying to get her point across. I'm not laughing at her. I'm just laughing at the the intensity of it. You know, because sometimes people have different reactions to intensity. So. This is very intense, so it just kind of made me laugh because she's like, it ain't fun, you know? When you can't walk out the front door. And that's why I'm telling you this again two years later. After I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, it's a lie. I thought I just, maybe I said that enough. Maybe I might become happy because I've been in denial. I've been in shock. Mm. I am traumatized. You know, fake it till you make it. But now I'm telling you the truth, okay? I'm not happy. I can't sleep. I'm so angry. It's insane. And Her voice sounds so different. It sounds so deep. Bro. <coughs> Excuse me. It sounds so deep. Like the, like you know how she used to sing in that baby voice? Hit me baby one more time. And now, it's like right down here. Granted, she is 39 years old, so obviously her voice is gonna drop, but. I'm depressed. I cry every day, and the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't think how the state of California can have all this written in the court documents from the time I showed up and do absolutely nothing. Just hire with my money another person to keep and keep my dad on board. Ma'am, my dad and anyone involved in this conservatorship and my management who played a huge role in punishing at me when I said, no, ma'am, they should. Don't get it twisted. 
don't get it twisted Brittany is no fool now you know you got to remember that the whole Brittany situation is that her image was crafted that she was this innocent girl the girl next door the blonde chick but yeah okay but over time she became smarter and smarter and this is a smart woman right here she is very wise a lot of people still think she's that ditzy girl but she's not guys you can hear it in her voice she knows exactly what she's talking about forget that britney image that she's a ditz or a typical blonde you know what i mean by that um what do they call those things somebody help me here i'm trying to think of the word stereotype that typical blonde stereotype blonde hair blue eyed that whole thing she is a smart woman she knows what she's talking about and to hear her finally voice her opinion and what she's going through is it's mind-blowing guys it's mind-blowing and to hear the intelligence of this woman right here take note guys take note Two roles in punishing at me when I said, no, ma'am, they should be in jail. Their cool tactics working for Miley Cyrus as she smokes on joints and stage at the VMAs. Nothing is ever done to this generation for doing wrong things. But my precious body, who has worked for my dad for the past fucking 13 years, trying to be so good. <laughs> Sorry for the language, guys. I didn't know she was going to swear. But, I mean, that's real emotion, you know. Um, That's crazy. The, cra the crazy part is... She's so angry, and I can hear it in her voice. She's that angry, guys. Wait, what was that last part she just said? Let me play it back again. I missed that. Nothing is ever done to this generation. Oh, okay, yeah. She's talking about the generation. So she's talking about, you know, your generation. If you're watching me and you're like under the age of like 23 or something like that, 22, 21, you're in that generation that she's talking about. That I think it's Generation Z. Is it Z, guys? Generation Z, I think. Um, one of my subscribers, Jonathan, he's in Generation Z. So, you know, he's like around, you know, 16, 17 years old. They're the, they're the new generation, so they can smoke blunts and things on stage, and, and nothing gets said about that. But yet, someone like Brittany, who's actually a kind, a genuine soul, she has been reprimanded again and again and again, and she hasn't even done anything wrong. And that's what she's kind of explaining is that. Here I am trying to put on a, a, a good show and a good image for you. And then you're treating me like dirt. And yet these other kids are out here acting all kinds of crazy. And nothing gets said. It's just like, that's the kids these days. They will do what they do. You know, that kind of thing. So, I feel you. I feel you. Doing wrong things. But my precious body, who has worked for my dad for the past fucking 13 years, trying to be so good and pretty, so perfect when he works me so hard. When I do everything I'm told in the state of California, allowed my father, the ignorant father, to take his own daughter. Not ignorant father. Not ignorant father. Wow. Wow. Who only has a role with me if I work with him. They set back the whole course and allowed him to do that to me. That's giving these people... I you know what's crazy? The fact that she even swore in front of the judge shows you how emotional she is. Because obviously you wouldn't really do that in a, you know, in a, in a uh, courtroom. You wouldn't really want to project that if you, if you don't have to because you want to really plead your case. But it just shows you that that's how emotionally charged she is that she can't even help what she's saying. She's just blurting it out blurting it out now obviously you, you guys know i don't swear on my channel i don't uh promote um what do they call that it's coming to me we'll just call it cussing you know i don't promote cussing and all that now obviously i'm not perfect you know i have my my times it, it comes out from time to time no one's perfect but i don't obviously promote that on my channel because this is a positive place and all that but i can't help that she's small you know it is what it is i know you guys don't care anyway but i'm just framing it for the people that do take notice of those kind of things but <clears throat> um yeah so it came out of her mouth not mine just remember that
but I understand where she's coming from. Like, I get it, you know? Anyway, that was just a whole explanation. Explanation. So let's get back into this, guys. This is Brittany talking right now. Uh, live, and well, not live, but yesterday. In court. In court. I worked for way too much control. They also threatened me and said, if I don't go, then I have to go to court. And it will be more embarrassing me if the judge publicly makes you go the, the evidence we have. You have to go. I was advised for my image. I need to go ahead and just go and get it over with. They said that to me. I don't I don't even drink alcohol. I, sh I should drink alcohol, <laughs> considering what they put my heart through. Uh. Also, the bridges... Yo, I feel so sorry for him, man. Fox came out a month for this yeah guys we're gonna pray for her tonight because wait i gotta remember to do that because that's crazy man she needs prayer like that is if, if anybody needs prayer right now it's definitely britney guys i gotta rem remember to do that pray for britney guys and you guys can pray for her in your own time as well you know i mean obviously we're gonna pray here but i'm just saying like don't just wait to come here to pray like you can pray in your own time as well you feel me let me get back to the chat oh shoot dropping my phone hold on dropping my phone hold on hey quintessential what's up how you doing what's good what's good what's poppin son how you feeling um you said they are preparing to take out Britney like they did MJ. You know some tea that I don't know? Tell me more, Quintessential. Tell me more. Tell me how did they take out Michael Jackson? That's what I want to know. I'd like to know what you guys know and what you guys think because we can really have a conversation about that and about the situation that's going on, guys. In your opinion, guys, do you think that I do you recommend? Do you recommend that I leave this live up for the Rebellion gang members who have not seen or heard about the situation that's going on right now with Britney, with Project Bluebeam, all these things that are going on? Because I usually would leave or not leave these videos up and i wonder if with the importance of the hashtag free britney movement that started and became a huge big thing and now it has become so true there i was watching the news last night and breaking news britney spears and it was true i said yo it's true all of the free britney movement people that were really behind that movement they were right she really was lying to instagram saying that she was okay when she wasn't and i've seen the videos you know i have seen the videos where there she was looking trashed up smudged makeup eye makeup hair looking all types of crazy and she's going i'm okay i'm good I i've never been happier in my life and it's like does a person who genuinely i mean genuinely genuinely a person who's genuine would they give you those kind of facials where it's like I'm so happy. I, 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 everything's fine. It's like, you must be a fool or an idiot to think that she is fine when she's clearly not. You feel me? You feel me? It's like, if I was to come to you and, and be like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. It's like, you're not going to believe that. You know what I mean? If you are actually, now I mean actually, okay. You would 
come to the camera oh my camera is stuffing up you would come to the camera and you would be like this what's up guys it's your man ruben wills i'm happy everything is fine don't worry about me everything's working out i'm happy you know and you'd believe me because i was being genuine with you genuine with you guys but as someone who has discernment i could tell by looking at those videos that she was not okay the quintessential said uh ruben because they used allegations to tarnish michael jackson's image image then took him out now he's more dead worth more dead than alive i remember the the allegations against michael jackson yes sir yes sir i remember something to do with children right he had something to do with children staying in his home correct the quintessential said ruben i'm guessing mary 40 was right about britney britney looked like she was abused during her instagram post yo she looked all types of crazy she looked all types of crazy um i'm just lost for words and how she could go from that beautiful britney that we knew to the one that we saw on the instagram posts now obviously i know she's 39 years old but i mean look at somebody like Nicki minaj she's almost 40 years old or she is 40 i think and see the difference like she still presents herself well whereas someone like britney she she couldn't really present herself well because she wasn't feeling well she was and is depressed and understandably that's understandable that she would go that she would feel like that and that she would look that way because like you say quintessential maybe she was getting abused physically we're not making any allegations but maybe she was riley's in the car we got riley in the car she said hashtag free britney hashtag free britney yo hashtag free britney at this point at this point she needs to be free guys and sorry i'm just having my chips i really hope that she finds that peace that she's looking for for real for real am i on your am i on your tv tonight guys are you watching me on your phone are you watching me on your tv now a lot of people are asking me what about the mother what about the mother miss lynn spears did that thought cross your mind guys by the way smash that like button guys smash that like button smash that like button if you're brand new here or if you're not brand new here whatever you are smash that like button y'all so that we can really get this conversation going because i really want to know what are your thoughts javon palmer rebellion gang salute what's up you said are you looking at the uap report tomorrow yes i am yes i will be looking at the ua uap report are you going to look at it tomorrow too javon thank you for bringing that up as well <clears throat> the quintessential said do you think her boyfriend sam ah uh, good question good question quintessential do you think her boyfriend sam is her handler who might be abusing her well i'm not gonna make any allegations but i i would say it's possible that she that he is her handler now if you guys don't know what handlers are um, a lot of a lot of celebrities and people in Hollywood they have handlers so that's basically a boyfriend or a girlfriend excuse me or somebody close to them who 
is not really there to be their boyfriend or their girlfriend or a friend around them they they pretend to play the role to be that person but they're actually sometimes hired most times actually hired or paid to escort that celebrity around and and be around them 24 7 or at least as much as possible to kind of protect their best interests not the best interests of the celebrity but the best interest of the handler and the people around and everybody else who is complicit you know all the people that are complicit in the situation that is a handler basically um it's a lot deeper than that but that is something that goes on guys if you don't realize another thing to remember is this is not really anything to do with Brittany, but this is just a side note that there are a lot of um i will say people who who are not straight they might identify as something else they will play straight in hollywood and will have um what they call a beard uh, so they have like a fake f girlfriend or a fake boyfriend just so that they can keep their careers going in terms of uh, the conservative side of the public and to keep their um, careers going um, yeah it's a whole thing but back to Brittany um, let's see the quintessential yeah so i think it's possible it's possible quintessential but i can't i'm not going to make any claims you know and plus i got to keep this uh live more you know i gotta i gotta choose my words choose my words and i have to sometimes you use um keywords not keywords you know what i mean sometimes i just have to be careful about the way you say things because obviously youtube is um censoring a lot of things these days as you guys know so you have to be careful but obviously i'm always going to bring you guys truth and uh do the best i can do the best i can for you guys i'm, I'm always going to be a truth teller and I mean, you guys already know that about me. You know that I tell the truth. It's what I do. And like I said, I'm here to bring the information. And it's up to you guys to take it how you want to take it. Um, we all have free will in this world. So we can choose to believe what we want to believe. But I'm just going to bring you the facts every time. And then you can either choose to believe it or not. Does that make sense? You feel me? You feel me? Uh, Javon said yes, Ruben, for sure. I've been waiting for the report since last month. Have you? Wow, okay. So you're invested. You're invested in this. Javon said, I hope there are some juicy stuff in the report. <laughs> Yo, for sure, for sure. I I've got no doubt, man, that there will be some juicy stuff in there, man. What's up to the art of being reacts? We got some love hearts in there in the chat yeah so i'm just kind of eating my my coke not eating my coke what kind of language is that drinking my coke coca-cola not not the other stuff just coke coca-cola ripples salt and vinegar chips guys these are popular in new zealand oh let me introduce myself by the way to all the new people if you're brand new here what's good my name is ruben wills i am a singer and a youtuber welcome to live chats with ruben wills we do this every week guys whatever day it is in the world for you right now this is when we're live so for me it's friday 5:07 p.m yeah that's right it's 5:07 p.m on a friday night in new zealand um i know for a lot of you guys it may be early friday morning now i think wait hold on let me do the math six seven eight nine ten yeah 1 a.m i believe 1 a.m on the east coast i think is is that right guys 
10 10 p.m in los angeles i believe 1007 p.m to be exact so whatever time it is in the world right now for you that is when i'm live guys every friday or thursday whatever day it is for you right now that's when i'm live um each week now we were talking last week about maybe having these lives twice a week but for now it's once a week okay for now it is once a week the art of being react said yes there you go but for now it's once a week it's once a week guys <coughs> by the way if you guys have not checked me out on instagram yet check your boy out am i pointing in the right direction wait what direction this way that way that's my instagram right there guys ruben underscore wills i'm a finner i'm a finner <laughs> i'm finner put this in the chat my instagram my ig as you would say guys you have to forgive me i am really super tired guys i did not get a lot of sleep but i had to make sure i was here with you guys to bring the information so at ruben underscore wills is my ig guys i just put it in the chat don't play with me guys don't play with me okay now what was i going to say about Brittany? what was i going to say about Brittany, guys there was something i was going to say Oh, we're going to pray for her. We're definitely going to do that. Don't you worry about that. Um, I don't have my background beats on either as well. I don't have my background, background beats. Because last time when I had my non-copyrighted beats in the background, bro, they did get copyrighted. So now YouTube is just capping in the extreme. The cap has gone to a new level it's major cap you know it was cap and now it's major cap with the the copyright i mean you know shout out to other reactors out there for example you know the art of being reacts i mean come on they should make a special law or a clause on youtube where reactors can at least make some type of percentage of the revenue from the reactions that we do now obviously guys you know guys that i was doing a lot of reactions at one point on my channel and i haven't been doing that for a while she said facts facts straight facts and i don't get me wrong i do want to do reactions like i want to react to the latest thing i mean you know for example like i said earlier the t-pain and kaylani song that came out or the video should i say the doja cat the weekend song that just came out an hour ago you know the ariana grande performance of pov you know i want to react to those things live but i it's just a lot of work for a whole lot of nothing in terms of finances and payback for the amount of time that a youtuber puts into editing videos it's you feel me and i know she yeah art of being react she knows what i'm talking about and um you only really understand what we're talking about if you're a youtuber guys um obviously i've been on youtube i started youtube i want to say in 2012 but I didn't really post anything for years, just like random videos here and there. Didn't really know what I was doing at that point. It wasn't until 2016 when my channel took off, um, when I started doing reactions. I believe my first reaction was, I want to say, William Singe. If you guys don't know who that is, he's a... Um, Australian with multi culture singer. Now, the multi culture is the native culture to my country, New Zealand. So he has a New Zealand parent. I don't know if it's his father or his mother, 
but I believe he was born in Australia, but it's that kind of New Zealand Australia thing, which would be similar to a America and Canada type situation. But that was the first person that I reacted to, William Singe, and then my channel took off from there. Now, obviously, I have taken um, a lot of breaks in between, so I've had times where I've taken a six month break or a three month break. I've had a lot of those times in between, so, because some people would say, well, Ruben, why why are you, are you just now coming up to 10,000 subscribers there you go i've taken a, a lot of breaks you know and things happen in people's personal lives and you know things go down and youtube is it's a different beast it's a different beast and although i'm thankful to be coming up to 10,000 subs we're, we've got about 600 to go um so I'm thankful to finally get there, but it's been a long journey, man. It's been a long journey, you feel me? But, um, I just wish there was some type of way that we could monetize without getting copyright striked or copyright content ID, whatever you want to call it, not a actual strike on your channel, um, which I have had before. <laughs> and it got to the point, fam, where you get three strikes and you're out in terms of copyright strikes, which is different to a content ID match. A lot of reaction videos get content ID matches, but for a copyright strike, that's a strike against your channel in general. Now you get three strikes and you're out. So I'll give you a short example. I was reacting to Beyonce live at the Grammys. I think it was Dangerously in Love and the Grammy Strike My Channel or the Grammy Foundation or Association, whatever they're called. So I had to have a whole back and forth uh, conversation with these individuals via, via email, via email. And I had to kind of, pl um, how can I say this? Pledge my case, pledge my innocence to a female individual that was working at the Grammys and I said can we make a deal can we make a deal here if I take the video down will you take the strike off my channel and the reason why I was doing that is because like I just said before you get three strikes and you're out now I, I believe at that point I was on my second strike now what that means is, a, is if you get a third strike you your channel gets taken and I do believe you can never make a channel again I'm not 100% a accurate or sure on that one but I believe that's the case does anybody know that's a youtuber watching I, th I think that is the case guys that they can stop you from making another YouTube channel not 100% sure but Bro, I'm not even going to go down that. <laughs> That's tough, my guy. That is tough, my guy. I'm not going to go down that road. Not even going to try it. So I did my back and forth email with this individual. And we had several emails. And then we got to the point where she said, All right, Ruben, I'll make you a deal. If you take that video down and you never react to another Grammy performance on your channel again, I will take it down. I was like, yo, that is, that's intense. I said, but you know what? For the sake of my channel, bad, bad, you got it. I'll take it down. So I deleted the video and then straight away she took the strike off my channel. I was just like, thank you God, because it's real like that on YouTube guys for YouTubers, especially for reactors. Like I said, you know, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And a lot of people not to hark on or harp on about things that reactors go to go through or, or people that are on YouTube reacting, you'll get the same old comment from people going, why did you chop up the video? 
Why is there parts of the video missing? How come I couldn't see that part of the video? You chopped up the best part of the video. Why did you do that? And it's like, at this point, people, use your brains. Like, people just want to be dumb to be dumb at this point. And so I don't even reply to comments like that. It's like, we all know how YouTube works. But then again, maybe we don't. Maybe not everybody. But anyway, guys, back to Britney Spears. I hope that... I hope that she will be able to get her freedom that she deserves because she's been through so much. And I truly think that she is a kind soul. You know, it takes one to know one, right? From a kind soul to another kind soul. I can definitely see that she's been taken advantage of and thrown to the wolves, if you want to put it that way. So we're going to pray for Brittany tonight, guys. We're going to do that. Um, you can either agree with the prayer or not. That's up to you. But yeah, I really hope the judge gives her a fair go and that she doesn't get uh, denied her freedom. And I hope that the judge is not complicit in the whole situation and somehow connected to the father or connected to being on the payroll, as, as they would say. So, judgment will come down, guys, and I just hope that Brittany will be free because, like I said, I grew up with Britney Spears and as a straight man, you know, I can admit that I've been influenced by her. I really have, you know, it doesn't matter what, who you are. She inspired so many people and, and was definitely a phenomenon. I think a lot of people forget that Britney Spears was a phenomenon. She wasn't just like, oh, okay. Another singer. No guys, Britney Spears was massive. Um, I'll never forget hearing her songs on the radio when i was a young boy um having my older brothers having crushes on her and the posters everywhere on the wall and the the music videos just everything that is britney was everywhere back in those days she was the phenomenon if i had to compare her to somebody of these days i guess you could say in terms of magnitude of fame i'll have to Give me one second. Oh, let me th let me think about that. Um, the Art of Being React said, Wow, Ruben, what's going on with Britney? Uh, it's a whole situation. She's I, I just talked about it. I'm not going to repeat it. But what I will say is that she's in a conservatorship. I'm not sure if you know what that means. But she's basically getting controlled by her father and all of her handlers and people around her. And it has been happening since 2008 uh, when she was taken taken away in the in the ambulance. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, yeah. I remember when she was taken away in the ambulance in 2008. I was on vacation. I'll never forget. It was the first time that I received my first cell phone. Or mobile phone whatever you want to call it you know the flip flip phones back in those days yeah yeah you know the flip phones i think i have one somewhere and then across the news breaking news 2008 britney spears taken away in the ambulance and i remember i'll always remember that her getting taken away and that's where it all began that's where it all began guys <coughs> excuse me um, yeah, she did her thing. She did her thing, all right. She did her thing. And I mean, obviously, I'm mixed race. I'm not even white. But she still was that, I guess, that one white celebrity that definitely influenced me. I mean, I've had a few, but being mixed race, obviously, I, I more uh, tend towards the urban culture. And... Uh, that's just the way it's always been in my my household um you know i've always just leaned more towards um culture i, I will say that um but britney was popular culture you know she was white culture she was culture she really affected everybody um all races of people so you know especially my generation because i'm a 90s baby you know i was born in the 90s so 
you know she's she was yeah she was that era you know i was super young at that time when she became famous i was super young but i remember you know i do remember um tt wall say what's up man what's up what's up man how you doing how you feeling you said veil done veil drone what does that mean veil drone what do you mean oh, are you talking about project bluebeam the art of being react said oh geez her dad still yeah yeah he's evil i will say that she said oh no yes we should definitely pray yeah we're definitely going to pray guys and that's going to be something that i'll be doing on my channel or on these lives probably at the end of the live i guess we could do it at the beginning it depends we'll figure that figure that out as time goes on because this is going to be every week guys every week um <clears throat> Like I said, I don't know if I'll be leaving this live up for the rest of the Rebellion gang to watch, but if you're here now, you're here now and you get to be a part of the conversation. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the chat what do you guys think about all of these topics we're talking about because it's so interesting to kind of see everybody's different points of view. What time is it? 5.24 p.m. Uh, excuse me. No, I'm a foodie. <coughs> so I will eat food. I love to eat. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Get your drink. Get your drinks. I don't know what your flavor of the night is. But this is a G-rated Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola vanilla. This is kind of like a live mukbang, I guess, in a way. Kind of. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. Let me get my pen. So the code words tonight, guys. The code words tonight. The virus. That is the code word we're going to use for you know what. The virus. Um, the you know the thing that goes in your arm. I can't say the name of it, but we're going to call it the the jab. We're going to call it the the jab tonight. There'll be some other code words that we'll be using as well, guys. <coughs> but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So. We're going to be here for like two hours, guys. We've got plenty of time. It's actually less than that, so I better hurry up. We heard the audio from Brittany. We heard the audio of what she's going through. I've never heard Brittany talk like that in my life. I've never heard her with a deep voice like that. So convicted. Convicted? Not convicted. So, um speaking with so much conviction is what i mean to say and just pissed off basically at this point you know she has been through the fire now we're going to move on to project bluebeam guys yes we're going to move on to project bluebeam I need to have some more coke. Not this coke, but that coke. So now, if you've never heard of Project Bluebeam, guys, if you've never, ever heard of Project Bluebeam, 
Let me be the one to tell you about it tonight. Let me be the one. So, we're gonna get into it. And obviously I have to be, I have to frame this story as conspiracy theory. We're, we're gonna call it, a, we're gonna call it a conspiracy theory, even though to my smart people out there, you know what the truth is. But I have to call it a conspiracy theory just for the sake of this video and the sake of keeping it politically correct, which I hate. I hate being politically correct, but eh, things we have to do these days. Eh, things that make you want to vomit with all the censorship and things that we have to be so careful about what we say and what we don't say and all that BS. So anyway. Let's get into the the Project Blue Beam, and for the sake of this video, we're calling it the conspiracy. Okay. Now, many of us have heard speculations about the paranormal phenomena, the theories of existence of mystical, supernatural, or extra extraterrestrial beings. We've heard about secret organizations, shady government institutions, which plan to de destabilize modern society to form a new world order, governed by a handful of powerful and very wealthy individuals. This one stands out, Project Bluebeam. It does stand out, fam. So you might be wondering, what is the blue beam, Ruben? I've never heard of this. Let me put you on game. Let me put you on game right now. We finna do this tonight. Oh, we finna do this tonight. Are you ready? Basically, proponents of this conspiracy claim is that NASA is planning together with the United Nations to introduce a new age religion which will also actually be off the back of, it'll bounce off the back of it'll bounce off the back of climate change climate change guys, that's the new springboard for the new religion is off climate change so people that love the climate people that uh get so caught up in the climate oh we're gonna die the world's gonna end the climate it's ending all that kind of stuff to introduce a new age religion now by the way guys i know a lot of this may be a, quite deep for a lot of people you may be thinking where is this going i've never heard this before come close listen in guys just just take the information you may not believe what i'm saying you don't have to believe it but you do have to hear it so as long as you've heard it you can't come to me and say ruben i didn't know about this you know you now know so let me tell you okay that's my job i'm just here to tell you you do with the facts what you want to do with it okay capiche capiche to the citizens of the world which will be led by the Antichrist. Both messiahs through the use of sophisticated and confidential holographic, holographic technology guys, using the satellites across the world. That's what they're actually there for. The public will have no choice but to embrace the new world order planned by these organizations right now this has been in the works for de decades more than decades a very long time now yes we do use the satellites for obviously you know techno te technological things and communication and all that kind of crap but it's also going to be there for the final deception guys it's also going to be a playing a role in the final deception now a lot of these words you may not know what i'm referencing but a lot of this stuff is alluded to in the Bible, guys. So I'm going to point out that stuff for you guys so you can have the reference if you need the reference. You know what I mean? 
Okay. I know this is real deep, guys. I, I get it. I know some of you guys are thinking, whoa, this is crazy. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me, guys. Do with this information what you want to do with it, okay? Just take it in, remember it, and then it'll start making sense. When you, when you start seeing things happen, you'll be like, yo, I remember when Ruben said something about this. I remember this. And it'll start to make sense when you see things happening, guys. Okay? You with me, bro? And sis, if you're out there, you're listening? Okay. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Without the universal belief in a religion of a new age, in other, other words, you know, the whole movement of the climate change movement, which used to be called global warming. Funny how they changed that to climate change. Did you ever notice that? I remember learning about global warming when I was in school. And now all of a sudden it's called climate change. Oh, oh we changed it now. Really? Now, what am I going to tie that into? There was a leak that came out, guys, from CNN, a uh, some type of executive or person that worked at CNN was on a date and was actually getting mic'd, mic'd, which means they have a mic on, uh, uh, on a date. They were on a date, and uh, this person was actually just trying to get information from this person that worked at CNN. And by the way, CNN is trash and um, a governmental news organization now this person from cnn was having questions thrown at them and they were not realizing that they were getting recorded and this person said oh yeah 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 with the whole trump thing we were told to just highlight all the bad things that trump did and just make sure that we made him look as bad as possible to the american public um and then what was the other thing he said so we conquered that and then the guy the lady that was on a date with him said also oh, what's up next what's your next agenda on CN cnn he said oh um, our next agenda is to push the uh climate change you know everything about climate change let's just push it push it push it oh the world's flooding or it's all going crazy let's you know Let's all come together as one. Let's all come by our and start saving the planet and all that. And so that's the agenda they're going to push next, guys, on CNN in particular. So when, when you start seeing those stories on CNN about, oh, look out, the island's starting to disappear, the waves are coming up, the ice is melting, rah, rah, rah. It's because the world is changing. The world's always changing. It's nothing to do with climate change, guys, trust me the climate does change if you want to put it that way but it's not into the point where we're going to die or we're going to flood or we're going to you know all these things are going to happen no <laughs> trust me guys we're going to be okay but obviously um governments and all these different agencies are pushing these things now and so obviously it's like oh we've got to have clean energy now we've got to you know let's have electric cars now we don't want to use the gas and we don't want to blah 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 now obviously there are some good points in those kind of arguments and reasons for doing those types of things but for the most part it's it's not what you think guys so let me get back to this make sure you smash that like button you i'm giving you some valuable information here guys so without the universal universal belief in a new religion which remember is going to be kind of off the basis of obviously climate change the success of the new world order would be impossible otherwise you get what i mean he believed that without the religion and the new world planned by nasa would not have the chance to succeed so introduce so to introduce the religion of the new age and succeed in crowning the antichrist who has who who will be chosen as a spiritual leader of the community 
now i have my personal opinions about who that may be but i'm not going to say here because i'm on youtube and i like you say you can't say too much so i pretty much have a pretty good idea who that will be but i don't want I, I won't say it i'll just keep it to myself and watch what happens um everybody has a different opinion about who it may be but i'm pretty sure i know who it is i'm not going to say i do know but i'm pretty sure but i'll just keep it to myself okay guys there's that um the blue beam project by nasa which is to do with space right needed four difficult but important steps okay by the way guys you can let me know what you think about this in the chat and if you have any questions ruben can you tell me more about this or i don't understand what you mean by that or i can explain it to you guys just just let me know in the chat um and if you just want to listen that's all good <coughs> excuse me um so their first goal is to d distort so like kind of mix up and destroy the existing archaeological archaeolo archaeological 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 is the word i'm trying to get knowledge so all of that stuff about you know dinosaurs or whatever they want to try and change all that stuff you know slowly over time to do this we need some artificial earthquakes because if you guys have ever heard about a machine called the harp machine h-a-r-p machine let me type it in there this is for you guys to screenshot and then go and look um these things up in your own time you know when you have some free time just uh, screenshot that h-a-r-p i think it's actually h-r-r-p machine if you look up the heart machine on google guys you'll find out what that is and what it, what it basically is and you know i have to say this is a conspiracy theory even though we know the facts but i'll just say it's a conspiracy theory for this live video um the conspiracy is that they control the weather yeah that's right you heard me right they control the weather um not all the time obviously yeah we do have real weather events and things that happen but a lot of the time or at least some of the time there are some events that are helped along or weather events that are pushed along for example hurricane katrina you heard me right you heard me right hurricane katrina guys was definitely helped by the heart machine ribbon i don't believe you i don't believe you look it up look it up guys look it up you'll find the information yourself i just had to be the one to bring it to you on this live platform especially for the people who have not heard this before because i know a lot of my supporters and my subscribers may not have heard these kind of things before because obviously i am an entertainment channel and and music and I'm, a, I'm an artist so that's what people mainly know me for but this is also some information that i feel if i know these kind of things I, it's my duty in some type of way to share it with you guys now like i said you may not believe what i'm saying you may go ruben i'm sorry i just don't believe that that's that's you're right you don't have to believe what i'm saying but i'm also just bringing it to you as a conspiracy theory because that's kind of the way i have to bring it to you guys even though i know what the truth is but i'm just bringing it to you as a conspiracy for the sake of being able to whatever you want to call it you know what i mean so just listen and if you don't want to believe this you don't have to but just know that i told you um and just remember that when these things happen around you you'll be like that makes sense you know i can see what he was talking about there i can see something happening over there that makes sense and it's not about me being right or anything like that either guys i'm just trying to bring you the information i just i want to bring you the information guys i feel like everybody has the right to know what's really going on um and then like i said then it comes up to your own personal preferences whether you want to believe it or not and you know do with the information what you want to do with it but um i'm just bringing it to you guys so it is what it is man i'm gonna have some dinner soon anyway but i mean i'm still gonna to talk to you guys as well about all these things you know we're talking about Brittany. uh we talked about that but now we're talking about project bluebeam we've got a few other topics to talk about as well but let's get back into it guys 
To do this, artificial earthquakes will depart in a strategic locations throughout the world where new discoveries containing falsified information will be made. This knowledge will show the errors of existing religious doctrines which in turn will shake the faith of Christians and other religions and convince them to abandon their mis misguided beliefs that they would call them. With the way that, oh wait, sorry, with the way people think today is destroyed, NASA and the United Nations can easily indoctrinate everyone with new ideals. So new discoveries will be made, you know. Oh, we never knew this was here. We never heard about this. Did you guys hear about all that stuff on the, on the aliens on the news? Oh, yes, we could have some aliens around. Oh, there's been some sightings. Oh, the government wants to release these new things I've found about the aliens. And, and then now you've even got... Hmm, I don't even want to talk about him, but one of your old presidents, I will say that, saying, yes, yes, it's true, aliens. No. <laughs> no guys no trust me but this is what's going to be um kind of presented to people and is already getting presented to people um it's already happening basically but um in terms of like that is trying to what i'm trying to say is the the whole alien thing is starting to get pushed now people are starting to talk about it it's becoming a thing on the news they're starting the governments are starting to go oh well i don't it could be you know things like that so um there's that um number two to bring in this new world order thing would be approaching giant space shows for the whole world to see okay now let me just read this comment uh sarah what's up sarah sarah l is here she said ruben i've heard of this have you is it somewhere in alaska it's like the heart facility hmm i can't deny or i can't confirm sarah you can understand why but you're right you have heard about it. it it is a thing it does exist but yeah i can't tell you too much about it you have to look the information up yourself obviously you know the fact that i am a um i have a platform here on youtube i can only say so much that's why i'm trying to be um hmm. you know what i mean I, i'm trying to be we're calling it a conspiracy theory tonight for the sake of being able to talk about these things we have to call it conspiracy now you know oh it's a conspiracy you know but uh, you know what i mean sarah so yeah y y you've got it you've got it you've got it sarah um the art of being reacts said i don't watch the news it gives me a headache it's not my business yeah i mean i'm with you on that one i i don't watch the news I may see a headline here or there, like I might be passing through and it might be like breaking news, something happens or blah, 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 you know, the virus that we all know so well about, um, you know, but I might watch the weather maybe, or maybe the sport, but other than that, I don't want to hear about it because especially in my country, all they're talking about is the virus, the C word, you know, the one we're talking about the virus the virus the virus it's like shut up at this point like do we need to keep talking about this and that's just a personal thing that i have about it you know each to their own but for me i'm just not i'm just not interested in it it just doesn't do anything for me for me for me you know we're allowed to have our own opinions about things guys and so for me i i just turn it off um and what I do is I get my information from the real media, from online sources, from Google, from YouTube. That's where I find the real news. Not, definitely not CNN. That can go in the trash. They've already been proven that they are liars and that they've even faked news stories before. And they also align their own personal agendas or government governmental agendas into the television show or the news show. They also 
watch their markets so people their demographics people that watch their news they think okay what what cultures are watching the news right now who's watching us at five o'clock six o'clock oh these are the kind of stories they want to hear let us push those kind of stories so it's very uh altered with you know the news is not like a real journalist would be very, very uh, let me just bring you the real news they're kind of tailoring the news to what they want or what they think it would be best for people to hear you know they're not really giving the true facts they're giving you some of the facts and then twisting it how they want it to kind of play off you know um, which is not real news journalism at all you know that's there is a word for it I just can't think of it right now does anybody know what I mean the word I'm talking about the quintessential what's up you're back um sarah said you're trying to be objective it's cool i feel that um i wouldn't probably use the word objective i would use the word careful safe careful and safe objective okay okay but yeah more just wise that's the word that came to mind. I'm using wisdom, guys. Use it. Use it, guys. It's, it's a thing that a lot of people don't have these days. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's smart, Ruben. Thank you. Um, the quintessential said, I'm at the point that I get tearing of hearing them talk about... <laughs> I won't say that word, quintessential, but I like it. I like it. The one you said yeah 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 man i mean can i can i touch on that subject i don't know if i should touch on it but i might quickly touch on it um can i use that word that's the question um if you guys look in the comment section and you see what the quintessential wrote that p word that one yes sir yes sir yes sir um definitely planned for sure for sure um and the rollout of these jabs you know the jab we're calling it the jab tonight can't use the v word but uh the jab the rollout of the jabs is unprecedented something that we have never seen before in history to see a rollout of this magnitude worldwide something ain't right something ain't right make it make sense make it make sense now i know a lot of intelligent people will know what i'm talking about but a lot of brain dead people out there don't even see what's going on around them you have to be very in tune with what's going on thank god i am thank god you you guys are you guys seem to be in the chat you guys are starting to understand what i'm talking about but a lot of people are sadly asleep and it is sad man it's sad that even even some of my subscribers won't have any idea what i'm talking about that's the saddest part you know it's sad that it's come to that place where how can i say this common sense is no longer common boom you know it's just like that um the art of being react said yes it's called brainwashing <laughs> clap emojis in the chat guys rebellion gang clap emojis in the chat you got it right the quintessential said i'm tired i'm tired of it too i really am i really really am guys um i had to spell it a different way to play it safe that's right that's right we got to play it safe guys you know even though i hate that word too having to play it safe but we kind of have no choice at this point we do have to play it safe which just sounds so so corny you know but so cheesy but anyway let me take a sip let me take a sip get your drinks guys we're gonna be here for a while i'm having my coca-cola Coca vanilla tonight Ooh. hold up hold up wait a minute let me put my two cents in it 
um the art of being react said common sense is no longer common facts yeah that's right but that is why the most high has you here to speak oh i couldn't i could never i could never take that responsibility um i'm humbled by that but i'm just a man you know i'm just a man in the world i'm no one special okay i have a platform yes and maybe a few people know who i am okay cool but i'm just a human like you guys you know i am an informed human you know i definitely do my research i know what i'm talking about but i'm not special in any particular type of way you know we all are special in our own ways you know i joke about um <laughs> i joke with my mum. i say oh mum, it's me reuben a face only a mother could love <laughs> it's just a joke it's just a joke we have between each other she goes yeah whatever you know it's our little banter that we have but like it's just me saying to her you know i'm only i'm just i'm just human you know i'm just a human i'm not anything special i mean yeah i am gifted and i have a you know i have a voice a speaking voice and obviously i'm a singer as well um i haven't released my debut project eventually that will come you know and i'm gifted with a singing voice and i thank god for that but i also have this type of voice where i can talk to you guys about these kind of things you know all the people the people that want to listen not not everybody wants to listen to me and i get that and i'm okay with that you don't have to listen but I'm still going to speak, you know, I'm still going to come forward and speak the truth. Now, this whole thing about my truth, let me speak my truth, or they're speaking their truth. No, 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 no. There's only one thing that's important. And the important thing is it's one or the other. It's either the truth or a lie so you're either lying to yourself or you are telling the truth but this whole thing of this new movement of oh it's my truth let me speak my truth bruh get out get out get out at this point we're not gonna fall for that well at least i'm not gonna fall for that some people may but i'm not you know it's either the truth or not so for me i want to speak the truth here on my live streams with you guys and i know that one of the best ways to do that is to call it a conspiracy theory so that's what i'm doing tonight but we know the truth guys and if you don't please look for the truth please guys that's all i can say do your research that's one thing i always want to say to people do your own research you may go ribbon i don't believe you man i just don't i don't believe you bruh go have a look for yourself then if you don't believe me go look and don't just go oh i might have a little bit of a look actually look go and search these things out guys please do it i want you to do it i want you to go and look for these things i'm just saying man i'm just saying now where do we get up to but thank you for the compliment out of reacts i appreciate that but i'm humble i'm humble i just thank god that i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing you know that's the only thing i can kind of say to complete the second stage of the conspiracy nasa or should we call them nasa tonight will use highly sophisticated laser technology this is going to be using the what are they called satellites that were actually specifically made for this years ago because how long have the does anybody know how long the satellites have been up in space does anybody know is it from the beginning of the space exploration or whenever they had the landing on the moon which i question that the landing on the moon i question that i don't know i don't know if it was real i don't know what you guys think do you think the the moon landing was real guys the original moon landing whatever year it was back in the was it the 60s or something i 
can't remember but i mean i wasn't even born but i can't remember the exact date but does anybody know does anybody have an opinion about the moon landings do you guys really think it was real what's up what's up anyway <laughs> okay sorry guys people talking in the background um but yeah does anybody do you guys believe it do you think that the moon landing was real don't be shy like don't be scared oh i don't want to say just let me know do you think it was real or not because i'm actually not sure I, I can't say yes or no i don't know i don't know if it was a real landing or not the original one i know obviously we've been to the moon since then you know whenever the 80s or whenever it was um huh okay thank you for your input um but yeah i don't oh whenever they went to the moon again whenever that was um but the original moon landing what do you guys think about that um the art of being react said i feel ruben that the moon should have been brighter it was way too dark up there yeah because here's my argument here's my argument on one side yeah maybe it was real maybe america really did go to the moon you know that is possible i do accept that that could be true okay cool 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 but on the other side of it think about this if they barely had computers in the 60s they barely had well we didn't even have cell phones right mobile phones or well, not the general public anyway you know barely had an apple computer or something in those days barely had basic technology how the heck are you going to fly to another well not a planet but how are you going to fly to the moon and we can't even have communication in general life through the internet but we're going to fly to the moon in the 60s oh we have that technology we can fly to the moon it just doesn't it seems so like really you're going to be able to go to the moon but we can't really have computers or cell phones it's like we don't have the technology that for that but we can fly to the moon it's kind of like you know what i mean like in the 60s we're talking about this is like years before we ever had like computers and cell phones how are you going to fly to the moon you know on the other side of the argument argument it's kind of like it really it just i don't know <sighs> um the art of being react said good point yeah i mean that's what i was thinking about i was just thinking about it. i was like hold on if we didn't have barely had tvs the tvs weren't even in color huge massive tvs my mum remembers watching the moon landing they had this huge black and white tv they barely even had tvs at that time well they did but you know very old style I, I don't know what kind of telephones they had back then we didn't have cell phones we didn't have computers we definitely didn't have laptops and all of these kind of things but you, you expect me to believe we've just traveled to the moon <laughs> you, you know what i mean like it's like i find that hard to believe now that i really think about it and the fact that don't forget don't forget guys it was a race to the moon remember I believe it was Russia, right? America and Russia were racing to get to the moon. Hollywood is a, it's an amazing place with a lot of sound stages. If you know what I mean. I wouldn't be surprised if the moon landing was faked. I'm not saying it is, but I wouldn't be surprised because especially in those days you know maybe now we have been to the moon but back then it was such a race to get to that moon i'm sure they would have done anything to make sure they could get there especially when we didn't really have the technology does that make sense you see a good point who filmed them leaving i don't know who did film them leaving yet there is a film of them taking off it's too much yeah it's too much it's like it just doesn't make any sense at this point you know what i mean for me that's for me you know if you still believe we went to the moon that's cool i get it i get it and i kind of still think maybe we did but it just looks like maybe we didn't maybe we really didn't back then 
I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Sarah said, Ruben, all I've read is Russia was the first to get to the moon. Okay. Okay. Spill the tea. Spill the tea. And America didn't like it and tried to rewrite history. Are you serious? I never knew that part of it. So are you telling me that Ameri that Russia actually went to the moon f first? How did they flip that narrative, though, trying to say that America landed there first? Do you know anything about that? Because I haven't researched anything about that. What do you know? What do you know, Sarah? Let me know. Thank you for chiming in with that. I love it when you guys tap in and let me know what you guys know, because, like I say, I don't know everything. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. So I appreciate it when you guys, you know, chime in and let me know some things, because I've never heard of that. Sarah said, Ruben, all I've read is Russia was the first to get to the moon, and America didn't like it and tried to rewrite history. But how? How, though? How did they do that? How did they do that? Um, the Art of Being Reacts said, I've heard that too. Did you? But the Bible says the moon is light. And that moon footage, it was dark. Facts. Facts. That is a good point. Yeah, because, like, even with the whole flag thing, you know how, like, when they took the photo on the moon and the flag was kind of, like, it looked like it was kind of moving? It's like, obviously, you're supposed to be in space, so why would the thing kind of be moving? You know what I mean? Like, doesn't really... Anyway. Uh... <sighs> Excuse me, guys, I'm just burping. Um, the Art of Being React said, Light to govern the night. Bible. Ah! Uh! facts facts that's facts now side note guys before we get back to the the blue beam stuff project blue beam we're talking about before i get back to that i just want to take a quick side note um to be totally transparent with you guys rebellion gang i um obviously i'm a christian and i follow god and stuff which i'm not perfect i'm not perfect trust me we all make mistakes and i've made many of them but um, I have only read a quarter to a half of the Bible, guys. I actually have not read the whole thing. So that's why going forward with my lives, at, at the end of the lives, we're going to start reading just small parts of it. We're not going to do like a whole thing. You know, just small parts of it bit by bit as each live goes by so that I can know more, you know, and so that you guys can know more if you guys are open to it, right? And if you're not and you want to leave, that's all good. I'm not stopping you. But I'm going to read this because I need it for myself. And I know some of you guys may want to learn about it if you've never heard about anything in the Bible. Or maybe you want to read it, read it again if you've forgotten or whatever the case. So to be honest, I haven't read the whole thing. So I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I have. I haven't. But I have read um, a quarter of it. Now... I was raised in a Christian household growing up and so obviously I went to like Sunday school and all those kind of things and at that age when you're young you don't really know what's going on you kind of just go with it because you know your parents take you or your family or whatever this is for people that go to church and stuff and so you know growing up with that I didn't really get an understanding until a, 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 an older an older until I was until I was older an older age so where am I going with this yeah so I learned some things you know in Sunday school you know they try to teach you about the Bible and things like that but obviously I was too young to really kind of understand you know there's certain things here and there that I remember and stories but not until I really started reading the Bible around um, 2018 I want to say 2018 um, because I actually have a teenage Bible guys <laughs> believe it or not obviously I'm not a teenager I know I still look young thank God for that thank mum and dad for good genes lots of water good sleep apple cider vinegar guys I'm giving you the tea right now to stay looking young guys 
but 2018 was when I started reading the word um, and then I haven't read it in a while guys to be honest with you life happens things happen but I am intending to help other people but also help myself and you know obviously we're going to be talking about different topics every week on these lives you know obviously tonight is a deep topic you know this is a topic that some people it gets a bit touchy 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 but we have to talk about it you know in the most respectful way but we have to talk about it and so other topics we talk about on lives coming up it may be just you know light topics it may not be anything too crazy and that's okay but when it's time it's time so that's what i'm here to do so if you want to stick around for that at the end that's up to you if not all good all good fam but yeah these videos will be here for you guys i don't know if i'm gonna be leaving them up we'll see we'll see what happens especially with this one i don't know if i'll get yellow flagged but we'll see um Riley said, sorry, I haven't been in the live. I'm enjoying Doja Cat's new album. Yo, I heard about the new song with The Weeknd that just dropped. I think it dropped when I actually started my live, which was two hours ago, guys. I can't, can't believe it. So we got one hour left. Thank you for coming. How's the album? The Art of Being Reacts said, just pray before you read for what you need. That is some good advice. That's a good recommendation. Where to start at the beginning? For me, I think tonight I'm gonna begin, or I'm gonna reference, I will say, Revelation. To tie, tie in what we're talking about. You feel me? But maybe over time, we will read from different parts. We'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys. But we're going to make a start, that's for sure. So anyway. Back to what we are talking about. But don't think, don't worry, guys. I love when we go on a tangent. And that, that's what we do on my channel. We go on tangents. So, like, we start talking about different things, you know what I mean? You feel me? But we will get it back to where it needs to be. I always get it back to the place where I want it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that about me, guys, but even when I go off on a topic, I will eventually bring it back to what I'm talking about. That takes practice to do that. But it's a skill that people can pick up. You know, you just got to practice. Um, practice makes perfect. Does it make perfect? I don't know if it makes perfect, but it does. Practice does make better. I'll put it that way. Riley said it's good. Doja shows so much love for Nicki Minaj. Does she? Nicki Minaj. Shout out to Nicki though. Um, you know, I give Nicki her props. She definitely paved the way for the uh, female hip hop rapper or the female rap rapper, put it that way. So shout out to Nicki, man. And shout out to Doja. I like Doja. She's, she's super cool. She's a vibe. She definitely is funny that her, her her album is called planet her isn't that funny like here we are talking about project blue beam and all the things that are things that allegedly will happen i have to say allegedly i can't say it will happen it will allegedly happen but we know i can't say when i can't say when but it allegedly will happen but shout out to doja um, the Art of Being React said, yes, all books are good. All books are good. Amen. Good for Nikki. Shout out to Nikki, man. Shout out to Nikki. Anyway, back to topic. So, to complete the stage of the conspiracy, NASA, as we call them tonight, we'll use highly sophisticated laser <laughs> that makes me think of, is that a movie? There was some movie or something where someone said, laser beam, oh, um, 
What's that movie? What's that movie, guys? Austin Powers with that lady and Dr. Evil. And she's like, the laser beam, bring down the laser beam. And she's like yelling and stuff. Just made me think of that. I don't know why. They will use a highly sophisticated laser technology to project three dimensional optical holograms using the satellites in various regions of the earth. These holographic images will resemble the appearance of the dominant deity in each particular region of that in each particular region so I wonder how they're going to do that because how do they know well I mean I can I can see that but it'll be interesting to see what they would do for America now now that America's become so changed over the years but for example they'll use Jesus obviously for a lot of countries you know as the return but they're going to use let's say I don't know for other religious cultures they'll use whoever you know they worship or whatever you know what I mean um let me keep reading and they're going to be able to speak all languages you know all languages before the space show ends the holograms of these gods will turn into a single god the antichrist that's how they're gonna do it okay all right let me read your comments one sec sarah oh no the art of react said lil kim paved it first yeah shout out to lil kim guys i think a lot of people forget about lil kim um to be honest she was a little bit before my time um obviously i was born in the 90s i know who lil kim is and i do remember some of her songs in the 2000s but obviously Nicki minaj has more, had more of an influence on me because duh i'm from you know i grew up in the 90s so I kind of grew up more in the 2000s through my teenage years in the 2000s so Nikki was came on the scene around well around 2007 8 but she didn't really pop off in the streets until about well actually she was popping up in the streets but she didn't really become mainstream until around about 2010 2011 yeah 2010 I guess um, but yeah shout out to Luca shout out to Luca but yeah not really kind of before my time you know but she did pave the way first um wasn't she called queen b as well originally she just didn't cross over to mainstream audiences because she was way too hardcore interesting interesting um opinion there i feel like she did kind of cross over in some type of way but maybe it wasn't as impactful as Nicki minaj or Nicki mirage should we say her real name Sarah said, all I know is that Russia was the first to send a human made object to the moon and America 30 years or so later decided to one up them and send a crew. I'm not sure if Russia sent people before them. Okay. Spilling the tea. Sarah's spilling the tea tonight. Thank you, Sarah. I'll have to look into that. I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything about that. Thank you for letting us know. Riley said, read Michelle Williams' book, How She Survived Depression. Thank you for that recommendation. I will look into that. I will look into that. Michelle Williams. She definitely was kind of pushed to the side in the Destiny's Child group. A lot of people forget about her. She was, obviously, she has gospel roots, and she's more of a gospel singer. And I did hear about her having depression. I did hear about that over the years. And, you know, living in the shadow of a Beyonce would do that to you if you're not strong enough. Um, and we've all been there, you know. I've had my bouts of depression in the past. So I can sympathize or at least empathize with uh, Michelle Williams and the things she went through, you know. That music industry, baby. It's, it's crazy. I love her, thanks. Yeah, we love, we love everybody, guys. I got one hour left guys time is moving so let me get through these points really quickly i'm going to just keep reading guys and i'm not going to respond to your comments straight away i'll respond after i finish reading okay the third way they're going to bring in the, the project blue beam the third way is through telepathic two-way communication oops 
we missed a part hold on let me go back let's go back to point number two i missed that part um the one god holographic staging is to dissolve the world's social order and cause religious disturbances on a large scale nations will turn against one another and there will be political anarchy and chaos compounded by several global disasters that would probably i'd say be helped along by the heart machine michelle i'm um, michelle not michelle sarah sarah by the heart machine probably will help there they can do earthquakes as well they can help start the earthquakes riots will convince people to erase all their religions that's sad man that's sad and support the antichrist and making way for the golden age of mankind the golden age of my behind okay this gets to point number three telepathic two-way communication this requires deceiving people into thinking that their god communicates with them through te telepathy oh my that's crazy in fact this artificial thinking has just been transmitted to each individual through low frequency radio waves are you telling me this has already happened what the heck that's tough that's tough my guy apparently that's already happened point number four universal supernatural manifestations using electronic means okay this is getting freaky now this is kind of freaking me out a little bit not really but at the same time just a little bit so this is stage four is this the final stage of bringing oh yeah this is the final stage of project Bluebeam, guys what we're talking about tonight riley said we're living on borrowed time we are living on borrowed time that's true you got that right um this stage of the plan requires three types of, of orientation so like an orientation kind of thing the first orientation is to convince the public that the world will be attacked by extraterrestrials <sighs> okay so extraterrestrials guys as far as i am aware there is nothing in the bible that i have heard about obviously we haven't read the whole bible yet we will get there but it's from what i do previously know i do not believe there's anything in the bible that references aliens per se i know there is something that is in regards to the nephilim which were like alien like beings which are actually demonic guys it's actually either demonic or angelic so demonic is from evil right it's from for people that believe what we believe you have god and you have the devil right and then you have good and evil i mean most people know about that so you have the angelic and then you have the demonic so people say oh i've seen a flying saucer or i've seen a flying this or i saw something in the sky yeah maybe they actually did see that that's true but it's not actually an alien they are demonic beings so they are demons that are manifesting in the physical does that make sense so to quickly segue to a side note there's a video guys if you look up on youtube i wonder if i can find it on here mm, i don't know if i'll show it maybe i'll let you guys look look it up yourself but there's a video if you look on you know youtube type in um what would you type in alien spotting or walking by road or on or on earth or something if you, if you type it in you'll see this video and i i don't know if it was in south america or europe or something but there was a guy on his motorbike and he this is like at night time and then he was driving past and he saw this skinny as white thing walking like this and it had no face and he was like driving his motor motorbike right and then the the, the thing turned around and went looked at him like this and it had no face you could just see this white skinny thing and it, it was too skinny to be like a human it was just the way its arms were moving and just had no face it was creepy i was like yo that's that's crazy and so this guy was like going past on his motorbike and then that thing just turned around and kept walking so those kind of things that demonic the demonic and so it's um 
demons manifesting in the physical so that we can see them and then most people who are not aware of these kind of things will say oh it's aliens you know because it is an it is an alien type thing you know it's different to a human it's like what is this so people will say it's an alien you know but it's actually a demon um manifesting as a being it's a being right it's a thing um so that's to explain aliens guys in a nutshell um obviously we still need to read the bible you know bruh we still got to read we got lots more to read but as far as i know that's what it means or that's what it is i should say do you get what i mean it's definitely not an alien there's no such thing as aliens flying around but there are demons flying around you know and then people who do not have understanding of these kind of things would think okay it's an alien flying around in the flying saucer and it may really look like an alien because they can manifest into those kind of things manifestation guys you know and not yeah you get me you get you get what i mean so facts we just need to enjoy our lives and be good to ourselves and to others yeah i mean that's good you know being good to ourselves and good to other people that's a good thing you know i'm not gonna say no to that but i mean it's a little bit more than that especially in these dark times that we're living in um i'm not a political channel or anything like that but i mean to kind of bring up politics for a quick second like if you look at your your second in charge in in the united states i mean she has been lying quite often and uh, she won't even visit the border in your country which is what she's actually assigned to um they're playing a lot of games in the government in your country right now and it's sad to sad to see and to be honest your leader that you have right now is not a strong leader I, in my opinion i do not believe he is and i'm not political but you know i don't want to bring it to that kind of place but i mean that's what i see from being on this side of the world it doesn't look very good um so i think being good to people and things like that that's cool but i think there's a lot more that people need to do to kind of protect their future and protect their own individual interests if that makes sense so yeah it's it's and i know these topics are very controversial controversial guys and that's okay I'm, I'm i'm happy to be the controversial guy i have no problem with that i would have probably not been that type of way when i was younger but now the way things are it, it, things need to be said you know things truth needs to be told and whether people want to hear it or not that's up to them but i will say it you know respectfully of course but i will say it so it's up to you at the end of the day guys it's up to your own individual decisions that you make i i can't force anything you know i whatever you guys do it doesn't affect me does it it doesn't actually affect me um or the choices that you make i, I guess i should say it doesn't really affect me at least in the short term um so i'm just here to talk truth that's all i can really do you know that's kind of where we are now in 2021 it's just gone to the point where it's just crazy now you know i look out there and i see the things that are going on i'm just like bruh this is intense like this is just crazy thank god that i have peace thank god that i have god you know i don't have to worry about these kind of things that are going on you know i can see it going on but i don't have to get you know involved to the point where i'm like living in fear or something like that i will never do that you know i will live in peace that's what I, that's what i do and i hope that you guys can get to the place where you guys live in peace as well and don't fear these things that are going on around you i mean yeah you want to pay attention to it but you don't want to get too involved where it consumes you and then you can't even really think straight michelle williams salute what's up and i got your dm i got your dm thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for that that means a lot to me the art of being react said 
I just looked up the video. I will watch it later. Yeah, check it out, fam. Check it out. It's... Well, I mean, it depends. You may not find it scary. It depends on each person. But for me, it was at least creepy. At the least, it was definitely creepy for me. Uh, maybe it'll just be weird for you. I don't know. Check it out, though. Check it out. I've heard that they are demons as well. That's right. That's right. I could care less what it is. I have the blood of Jesus alien or demon or whatever must go period that's right you know you plead the blood of jesus that's what i do that's why i'm always protected you know um the art of being reacts said i do not care for anyone second in charge or first <laughs> you notice how i'm not saying the names gotta be you know careful as we say tonight I am under a different government. Are you? Okay, okay. I have a different president. <laughs> His name is Yahweh. Amen. Yahweh means God, by the way, guys, if you don't know that. Or Jesus, God, you know. Um, and the VP is Yeshua Jesus. That's right, that's right. I don't do politics. That's just me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not political. I'm not political. To be honest, I don't even, you know, I don't talk politics, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, I'm an entertainer, so, you know, I don't really get involved with politics. Obviously, I have my own political views, but, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know, so. Um, snap, it's Michelle Williams. We were just talking about her book. Yo, I didn't even realize that. Michelle Williams. It's not the real Michelle Williams. It's uh, my friend, Michelle Williams. My supporter. And uh, she's Team Breezy. All day. All day long. That's funny, though. That's funny. I never, I never thought of that. Michelle Williams. Did you have trouble with that, Michelle, when you were in... Mm, hold on a second. You may not have... Like, you know, when... Destiny's Child were really popping in the streets and they were the thing. Did you used to get a lot of, con not confusion, but people kind of using that whole thing, oh, Michelle Williams, what's up? You know, that thing. Did you ever have to kind of deal with that on a daily basis or something? Michelle? Um, the Art of Being Reacts said, yes, it's about his peace. It's a gift you accept or you don't. Yeah, it's up to you guys. You have to make the decision. Peace I leave you, not peace as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that scripture. All right, guys, I need to move because we're running out of time. So let me get back. I think those were the main four points, guys. Give me one second. Oh no, here we go. We've got a little bit more information, guys. Let me talk for a few minutes. This stage of the plan requires three types of orientation. The first orientation is to convince the public that the world will be attacked by extraterrestrials or demons because of the great threat to the human existence. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but just listen close. Every major country will feel compelled to counterattack using nuclear weapons. However, the invasion will later be wrong, and the United Nations will have enough reason to order nuclear disarmament. Disarm, disarmament. You know what I mean. The second orientation involves leading Christians to believe the rapture is in them. What? While the third involves a combination of electronic and supernatural forces. At present time, all types of electronic electronic equipment and equipment will have a microchip installed in them okay so the mark of the beast right the mark of the beast guys which is the implementation of a microchip or is it a barcode a barcode on the hand or forehead we're still gonna we're gonna look into that but yeah it's it's the microchip kind of um story well not story the microchip um now there's rumors that the the V word or the, the jab, we'll call it the jab. And actually the test, having the thing go up your nose and test, something gets injected into your body that is mechanical or that is magnetic or I don't, I don't wanna say robotic, but some kind of, um, 
something electronic even with just the test guys the the jab test getting it put up your nose and then something goes in i can't confirm that i'm not saying that is the case it's a we'll call it a, we'll call it a conspiracy theory tonight that's one of them um and then obviously the, the jab is obviously that's a conspiracy theory because the jab and then everything goes inside of you you know now there's been stories about people that have dropped dead from the jab people that have had things happen to them i saw one story about this lady she um her brother was in like i don't know the military or something so he had to get the jab and all that and then this big like sore came up on his arm and then before you know it he had all these black blood clots inside of him i don't know what the outcome of that story was i don't know if he actually survived or not but when she the sister took him to the hospital they were trying to play it off the nurses because they've been told to right and so they were like oh it's it's just a sore or it's it's nothing serious and she was like i'm a nurse and i can tell you that that's not just some little wound like something's on wrong here and they were trying to say oh no 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 it's nothing like that and so i don't know what happened with the story after that but she was a nurse herself the sister and then they found out that he had blood clots and it wasn't just some random event that happened it was to to do with getting the jab and he had a bit black thing on his arm that's just one of the stories there's heaps of stories and now the other thing people will say but reuben what about those people that get injected and then nothing happens to them they're fine cool well how do you know you're going to be fine in two months time from now three four five six months from now how do you know that they haven't put something inside you that's gonna do anything to you who could be anything and then a year later you could drop dead how do you know because like i said the rollout of this or these different um jabs we'll call them or v word things that have happened so quick the fastest fastest or the most fast it's ever been in history for a for a rollout of that kind of thing uh which is very sus suspect and you know because those kind of things take years to you know before this whole pat this whole thing happened last year you know if you had the flu or if you had whatever whatever kind of disease or something they'd have to get trial the vaccines for years until they could use them but oh, all of a sudden this thing hits and then oh we got the vaccines straight away and there's three types of them all right everybody go get really like it just doesn't add up you know what i mean but some people think it's normal they think oh nothing's wrong you know everything's fine but you have to be kind of in my opinion delusional to kind of think that um but you know everybody has their own way of thinking but yeah it's just kind of like wow you know mm. anyway let's get back to this i'm going to read your comments in a second guys interesting topic right really interesting a lot of people um have their own opinions about that and and that that's okay you know that's okay um this is some deep stuff i know i know trust me i know um where are we where are we electronic microchip this will allow waves to be transmitted through optical fibers coaxial cables as well as electricity and telephone lines which in turn will drive people into the brink of madness and hysteria and hypnotize them into committing suicide or murder yo that is intense wow as for what happened after completing all four steps populations around the world will be ready for new messiahs to rebuild rebuild order and peace at any cost even at the cost of releasing freedom once the world welcomes the formation of the new world order all remaining people will be forced to swear allegiance to lucifer satan through initiation rituals those who refuse on the other hand will experience a terrible fate so christians right like someone like me that wouldn't go for that right for example christian children will be sold as sex slaves oh my gosh offered as human sacrifices Pris pris prisoners will be used as subjects of various medical experiments and as unconscious organ donors yikes some will be executed while those who can be rehabilitated so basically programmed 
will be sent to re-education camps. Yeah, you've heard about that, re-education camps. I've heard about that before. To rejoin the community, they must repent for their crimes. <laughs> they got to repent for their crimes. That's crazy. On television, on television, and learn to embrace the new global dictatorial government. The Project Blue Beam paints a bad picture of the world that no one wants to be a part of, and most people don't even dare to imagine it. This is an unpleasant future, so it is easy to ignore the possibility of it happening in our lives. But time will tell. Those who choose to believe it have accusations against NASA and the United Nations and the Blue Beam Project have raised some evidence to support their claims. First is the suspicious death from supporters who researched the Project Blue Beam have been dying. Died of a, this, uh, a guy working, a journalist working, died of a heart attack a few weeks. Oh, a couple of journal, a couple of journalists died a few weeks between each other. They were researching Project Blue Beam. Believe they were killed by a Canadian government order to prevent them from continuing the investigation. Recent unusual events have also been raised. On June tw in June 2017, around 2,000 people in various parts of the United States reported seeing very bright lights and colored lights ap appeared in the night sky. They look very similar to a UFO floating in our planet, as if they were going to invade. <laughs> in the end, NASA claimed responsibility for the incident because of the colorful artificial clouds the sky allegedly produced something. Most people don't think of anything about the glowing clouds they saw after NASA called it. They <laughs> what? They called it the early Independence Day fireworks show. Come on now, how dumb do you have to be? However, some people insist that space agencies test technology that can be used to instill fear among the public. Well, you know, look at look at everything that's happening in America and all the fear mongering that goes on and the fear that gets put into the general public in the United States through the media. Now, the mainstream media, I mean. You know what I mean? They use fear as... Fear is... What they use. Fear is what gets people to do things. Oh. 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 The fear of this. The fear of that. You know? That kind of thing. For those who think Project Blue Beam is no more than a... Uh... Been widely dis yeah so it's kind of saying like is it true or not we'll have to wait and see you know but uh, yeah anyway that's basically the, the four the four stages of the project blue beam so that's what's going on it's been going on for a long time, guys. Um, like I said, do your own research on these things, guys. Now that I've brought it to you, please go do your own research. Look up the aliens. Look up um, Project Blue Beam. Look it up for yourself. I don't know if this video will end up staying up. Probably won't be. But um, go check out that stuff, guys. Please check it out for yourself. Don't just do nothing. Actually have a look. Go to the videos. Go look Project Blue, Be Blue Beam up. Look it up. And, uh, and just do it for yourself. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. Do it for you guys. And um, if years in the future, you know, all these things happen, because we're calling it a conspiracy theory tonight, whatever you want to believe, um, you know, if these things happen, I just want you to remember these things that I told you and not be like, oh, Ruben told me so. No, not that. Not that kind of vibe. But just be like, oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that or I remember learning about that. Um, and then if you don't from me, then please go learn for yourself. And then when you do see things happen, or if you see anything happen, you can be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. I'm understanding what's going on here. And you won't be so kind of caught off guard by it. Like, whoa, what's all this stuff going on? You'll be like, hmm, yes, I see what's going on here, you know? And you can put two and two together. I just want you guys to just know what's going on. That's all I'm saying because I know what's going on, so I want you guys to know what's going on. 
and some won't, won't want to believe this, but that's up to you. It's up to you. Like I said, I don't care about that. I just have to do what I came here to do. So, yeah, man. Um, we're going to read um, a Bible verse according to what we've been talking about tonight, or at least along the lines of that. We've got a bit of time for that. Um, probably talk about a few other things before we go, but hopefully that made sense, guys. And I do believe there's some kind of judgment coming to America in July. I can't say what it is, but there'll be some type of judgment coming to America. Also, in terms of your leaders, guys, they, I'm, I can't say exactly what I know, but there will be something happening to two of your leaders. And I don't know how high up we're talking, but something will happen. That's all I can say. I don't, I don't want to say anymore, but something will be happening to two of your leaders next month, I believe. When you see it happen on the news, you'll be like, yes, I remember that. I was told about that, that, does, that, does, that this would happen. Um, what else? I'm going to read your comments in a second, guys. Um, we're going to get onto some lighter topics as well, <laughs> probably at the end. Um, so don't worry, guys. But we had to go deep. We had to go deep tonight. We had to. And I thank you guys for coming and, and learning tonight and, and even teaching me, you know, because you guys have taught me some new things tonight that I didn't even know about Russia and things like that. You know, I never claim to know everything, but I do know a lot, but I don't know everything. So when you guys, when we work together, Rebellion Gang, we can definitely keep ourselves ready for what's coming. Also, guys, unfortunately, or I'll say allegedly, allegedly food shortages. Yes. Won't be having these for much longer, will I? <laughs> or so they say food shortages on the way as well apparently guys there's going to be some type of food shortages coming i don't know a lot about that i have to look into it but there is some type of food shortages on the way allegedly uh so that'll be uh insane in the membrane um thank god i've already got food stocked up yes yes sir i am prepared i have my water filled up i have my water bottles i have my food i have my canned food i'm gonna have everything i need to survive whatever happens like we don't know exactly but whatever's gonna happen in the future guys um i'm ready i'm ready um and i'm getting ready i'm getting even more ready as time goes on so i hope you guys will get ready too i know you'll be thinking but ruben what what do you what do you mean what's coming things are gonna happen so just get ready get your food get your things and just be prepared guys that's all i can say i can't say too much but just be prepared that's all i want to say to you be prepared have your food have your kits have your everything you need definitely get your food and get your water and um yeah that's all i can say so yeah <laughs> um i'm gonna read your comments in a second but we're gonna pray for Brittany as well because Brittany's going through a lot i'm gonna do that at the end and if anybody else would like prayer for anything let me know um, we've got to do that. Um, and we're going to talk about a few other things at the end. We're going to read stuff that is, um, kind of talking about the end times as we call it, the end times, um, whether you believe in that or not, is up to you, but kind of hard not to believe in that now that things are going the way they go it is it is um unnerving i would say it's not scary for me it's unnerving and it makes you nervous but i'm i never live in fear so i'll never be scared of these things but it is nerve-wracking you know seeing these things go on it's like oh it's a bit of a shock you know to hear about these things that could happen you know um yeah i mean but i'm i'm good you know i'm good i don't know about you guys i hope you guys are good you know i hope you'll at least be ready going forward and you'll be like i remember this night i remember the things that were said and now i can make the choices that i need to make for myself and my family or the people around you you know um just know something's coming that's all i can say something's coming um i can't say when and 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 all those kind of things but it will eventually happen whatever that may exactly look like we'll have to wait and see but it'll be something <laughs> it'll definitely be something you know um 
so yeah hopefully i've made myself clear tonight guys hopefully you guys have been able to understand what i'm talking about if you can't understand and you ruben i'm just so lost by this there's not much i can do for you other than just hope that you'll do your research and kind of figure it out for yourself or maybe just keep coming to my lives every friday or what day is it yeah friday for you guys and hopefully we can kind of help you to understand it over time through reading the word or through talking about things or whatever the case bringing the, the knowledge that i have to the table and and hopefully yeah helping you and i guess the only other thing we can do is pray that you'll understand because I, I forget you know i forget that some people don't understand these things just because i understand it doesn't mean that everybody else does you know um a lot of people don't and it's not their fault it's not their fault they just don't know about these things and so i'm here to help as much as i can um i'm only one person i can only do so much but i'll do my best to keep you guys informed and i hope you guys will inform yourself like i said go and look up these things yourself as well and then you know you'll be yeah you'll have knowledge about things you know um but yeah i'm just i'm humble guys you know i'm not trying to boast or anything like that i'm just trying to keep it as humble as i can and and just have real talks with you guys you know this is live chats with ruben wills we're talking about real things and that's all i can really say but let me read your chats in a second um the Art of Being React said, I love Breezy, very talented. We all have our issues and are at different parts of our lives, so I cannot judge him. Yeah, I think to be transparent with you guys, I probably was a judgmental person uh, in the past. I used to judge people, to be honest, I used to do that. I used to judge people, um, but I've grown from that and I don't judge people now. Like I can look at someone's situation and see it for what it really is, or at least just see it for what it is. And, um, I don't judge that person. You know, they may be going through this, they may be going through that. And I just go, okay. Okay. You know, I'm not going there sitting there going rah, rah, rah about this person. I just go, it is what it is. That's your situation. Okay. And I can be okay. I don't have to say anything. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we cannot judge anybody, guys. We can't judge Chris Brown. We can't judge anybody. You know, obviously he's made some mistakes in his life, but that brother needs God. And he really needs God. He really does. But, you know, we don't judge him. We just love him. That's all we can do. Just like I need God. I need God too. We all do. You know, no, no one's perfect. No one's above anybody. Even celebrities, you know, they're not superhuman. They're still human. They're just household names michelle said yes everyone used to call me michelle williams for destiny's child <laughs> yo was that annoying though did you used to get annoyed with that michelle or were you just like i'll take it as a compliment compliment the art of being reacts said my phone has just died give me a second okay I could stay a little bit longer guys i got a little bit more extra time because i still got a couple more things to talk about okay hold up so yeah i know you guys have learned a lot of things tonight it's pretty crazy huh i mean even i learned some stuff tonight <laughs> you know uh what the heck sorry guys i'm just trying to sign into my um youtube thing hold on hate this technology man you know that's the thing technology is a good thing but then it's also crap at the same time you know it's like always like stuffing up and doesn't want to work properly the things we do for progress right okay this is just not going to work for me is it let me see if i can get a new page okay cool all right, guys, one second, hold up. I'm gonna read your chats. And I always try my best to read your chats, guys. I don't wanna be that guy, you know, that guy that doesn't read the chats. I wanna read what you guys have to say as well because it is live chats with Ruben Wells, you know. And if you joined, we've already talked about Brittany, guys, but we will pray for it's her though. As well because it is 
Okay, now I can't even see your comments. This is not good. Uh, let me see. Let me see. How am I going to do this? Can I turn it that way? Hmm. Okay, let me just plug my phone in because hopefully it'll quickly charge up. I can't even see you guys' comments right now. <sighs> I might have to grab my other phone. Let me just take a sip, guys. Let me take a sip. I've got to go get my dinner as well. I'm hungry. Super hungry, y'all. But yeah. Give me one second. Actually, let me go grab the phone, okay? I'll grab another phone. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Let me go put this in the fridge. We got more to talk about, you. Just had to grab the other phone guys oh, come on man stupid youtube <laughs> even though i work on youtube i can still call it stupid sometimes it's annoying it doesn't want to work for you i'm just waiting for this thing to load y'all we waiting but what are you guys up to what are you guys been doing tonight are you going to bed soon or what's happening because it must be what 7 8 9 10 11 p.m or something on LA side 11:53 p.m. and 12:1 2:23 a.m. on the east coast is that right just waiting for it to load guys hold up we almost there y'all let me eat my chips oh yeah by the way if you have not followed me already y'all check me out at Ruben underscore Wills. That's Ruben underscore Wills on Instagram, guys. That way you'll be updated with everything that goes on. And, side note, cover songs, more cover songs on the way, guys. Your man's been cooking up, working in the background. More stuff coming to you guys very soon. I know I keep saying that, but I'm working, I'm working. Things are coming, okay? Um, apparently Doja Cat has dropped her new album, Planet Her, so go check that out if you haven't heard about it. She has a new song with The Weeknd. The Rihanna album. Are you guys ready for the Rihanna album? Or do you not care anymore? Because it's been so long. I don't, I don't know if she's going to bring the album out or not. I don't know. Maybe it's been too long. Okay. Oh. I wanted to react to the Ariana Grande POV, but like I said, the whole um, copyright situation makes it so dumb. But it's just a lot of work having to do all that stuff. But I really did want to react to it, though. I did. You feel me? Yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski. Just waiting for my phone. Okay, it's ready. Let me sign back into YouTube. Okay, we're just signing back in. Get to my page. Okay. Um... I can read your comments now. <clears throat> so we're going to pray and we're going to read a couple of scriptures and pray and then I'm done, guys. I don't know if this uh, live will stay up. So if you were here tonight, congratulations. You were able to join the fam tonight and have the chat. So I just love talking to you guys. Um, the Art of Being reacts said, I stay away from docs in general. Do doctors. I don't need anything up my nose. That's right, me neither. 
and I cannot have a jab because I cannot name one ingredient that's in it. And that's right, you know, you need to know what's going inside your body if it's a foreign object. You know, that's the thing. And um, if you're wondering what my stance is, obviously I will not be getting tested and I will not be getting the... It just won't be happening for me, guys. So that's where I stand. And that's my right. That is my human right to choose what I want to do with my body. I will not be getting in it. I will not. I repeat, I will not be getting it because it's my choice. Thank you. Um, the Art of Being React said, also notice that the came out of came out after they asked for everyone to send in your DHA for family ancestry. Now nah, I believe they were testing how it reacts to our DHA. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, by the way, I just remembered that YouTube channel that I was talking about, about the CNN employee that used to work there or does work there that was on a date or a mic'd, you know, with a microphone date, actually getting bugged, you know, they had a little bug there so you could hear and ask the questions to that CNN person. That YouTube channel you need to look up, Project Veritas project veritas guys and there's a video on there about oh let me type project veritas so you can look it up look it up yourself yourself project veritas there it is that's a youtube channel look that up guys such a dope dope youtube channel to look up to find out the real information What was I going to say? There um, was... Now. Now. You guys know about that Epstein situation? Remember that? You know, all those people, all those celebrities and people traveling to the island for the child... Uh, child? Tra child? Child trafficking. You know, the, the, the human trafficking, the child trafficking. The sex ring that goes on in Hollywood and goes on with all these executives, all these rich, powerful people. Look up the islands, look up um, Epstein, the island, look up all that stuff, guys. This is all linked to the, the child slavery and human trafficking that goes on. Just like the Britney Spears trafficking, you know, she is uh, more of a labor trafficker, oh, being trafficked in a labor type of way, so like labor trafficking, but it's still some type of human trafficking, isn't it, with Britney Spears? See how these things all tie in together? If, if you really follow the links, you'll find everything. Um, also, there is a video about a, I believe it was an ABC News correspondent who had all the information about Epstein. Um, and they were wanting to um, release that information um, about what went on. Uh, someone that was in the know about that whole situation and this was two years before it became out and became big news about the whole Epstein thing um who was a guy that was like a powerful guy and he ended up going to jail and I think they he died right he died I don't know if he really did die I don't know if he was murdered or what went on but anyway they had the story that they were going to tell on ABC News and of course the powers that be got involved at the news station and killed the story and this lady was that was an abc correspondent she was so pissed off because she said i knew about this two years before it happened but obviously people were paid off at the top of the news agency or the broadcasting station or whatever you want to call it abc news and they cut the story you know because obviously they are on the payroll or they have invested interests and in all these kind of things it's all to do with power and money guys power power and so that's another story that's on the project veritas youtube channel so check that out um but yeah there's just so many links to the human trafficking the child trafficking and the sex rings that go on um and oh, allegedly allegedly that go on with these powerful people celebrities involved too guys celebrities are involved not all but some were and some are so yeah do your research guys it's 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 out there you just got to look for it you got to look for it um and even with washington dc there's 
apparent well there was apparently children being held underneath um captive in the um, i don't know if it was the capitol building or it was somewhere in washington and uh they were holding holding them there for rituals and sexual kind of things and uh it's just crazy it's crazy when you really open pandora's box and you find what really goes on in the world guys it's crazy you may not believe what i'm saying but look it up for yourself guys look it up for yourself it's out there it's out there and i'm just saying it's a conspiracy theory because i have to i kind of have to in a way i don't have to but i will i'll just say it's a conspiracy theory so look that up look that up guys and I get excited talking about these kind of things because this is the real stuff we need to be talking about. Not just all this crap we talk about every day, like, oh, the sport, oh, the Olympics and all this crap. Like, you know, let's talk about the real things that are going on out there, you know. I can still talk about those things and I can still be a singer. I can still be an entertainer. You know, but these are the real things that are going on. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, the Art of Being reacts said, As far as Blue Bleem, I've heard of it as well. But yo, if it happens, it happens. The Bible says a lot of bad stuff will happen as well as them taking children for sex. See, I just that's just what I was talking about. The sex ring. Um, it's demonic. The opposite of God. That's right. Amen. We have to continue to just stay in peace that God gives. We already know the bad will come. Thanks for going deep. You're welcome. I love to bring these true deep stories to you just don't focus on any of their drama but on the peace that god gives absolutely guys that is some great advice there make sure you guys focus on the positive focus on positivity guys that is one thing and focus on god the quintessential said is there somebody in the youtube comments pretending to be michelle williams from destiny's child no 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 that's my that's my um supporter um she's a supporter of of um of me so it's not the michelle williams from um destiny's child it's someone that i actually know <laughs> it's all good man that's funny um this life is only to prepare for our souls for eternal life with yahweh amen amen um, the quintessential said, I almost don't care about R9 since Rihanna is playing too much. She only releases lingerie now to avoid putting out the album. Yeah, it's interesting because she um, is now focused more on Fenty and the house of Fenty, I believe. And then obviously the Savage Fenty lingerie and all the things that she's focused on her um, business career and not so much the music anymore and i just wonder if maybe she doesn't care anymore maybe she's not that interested in being a singer anymore you know she had a good 10 year run there more than 10 years really maybe she's just not that fussed anymore maybe yeah she still likes music but maybe she just doesn't want to be that pop star anymore maybe she's really in, in love with her skin products and her lingerie and whatever she's doing fashion maybe maybe but then again she might surprise us and just drop an album who knows but you just never know with rihanna but um she definitely had an amazing run that's for sure it just seems that people are not that interested now it's kind of a mixed bag i think some people are still waiting and then a lot of general public people are kind of like eh, you know if she drops i'll check it out but people aren't really like where is it kind of thing you know it's been a long time now I believe her last album was 2016 the anti album which is i i never listened to that album and i don't i don't agree with that album in terms of the the labeling of a anti where you're getting anti from you know what i mean i know everybody will come in and say oh it doesn't mean that it means something else and it's this and it's that sure okay but it's just the the audacity to even go there you know what i mean it's like i can't get on board with that but i do appreciate what she did with her music career um in the early early years you know 
but who knows uh, who knows it's just anything could happen anything could happen and a lot of people say but it's her best album that she did okay cool but i just i i heard a few songs from the album like don't get me wrong i've heard a, a few of them but and they are pretty good or really good um but yeah just never really got on board with that project but and i haven't been on board with a lot of her projects for a long time but definitely the good girl gone bad era that was when i was you know a teenager and that was she was that girl at that time obviously the loud era was massive it's probably my favorite era yeah and then good girl gone bad as well um and then even the a girl like me era when kind of 2006 around that time that was my favorite one of my favorite eras of her and looks wise um but yeah who knows who knows rihanna is rihanna anything anything's possible right anything is possible but let me read your chats before we get into the scripture scripture about what we're talking about or at least link it to what we're talking about and then we'll pray and say good night fam loving your bed riley said appreciate it appreciate it rihanna gave eight albums back to back let her live oh and she is living she is living the high life no doubt about that the quintessential said that album scares me it unnerves me it doesn't scare me but it unnerves me so it just gives you nerves it was very dark with sangria on the album cover so that was sangria okay i knew something was up see that's why you guys helped me to learn some things that i don't know so thank you quintessential yeah i knew there was something not quite right you know but anyway all right guys let's get into the scripture and the scripture i had was revelation 21 1 to 4 and mark 13 to 19 or 13 verse 19 to 20 i believe that's touching on the short days can i ask you a question rebellion gang have you noticed that time has sped up that's right i said it have you noticed that time has sped up oh ribbon you're getting old that's all it is oh uh not really i haven't noticed it really now as crazy as it sounds i personally do believe time has sped up whoa that's crazy i know i know that's crazy but i actually do believe it has sped up in some type of way because at least for me i've noticed that a day goes like that and it's not just to do with my age i know it's not just to do with my age i know that when i know something i know it so however crazy it sounds i do believe time has sped up which is so weird to say but every day seems so much shorter than the one before it i don't know if you guys are experiencing this but this is what i've been experiencing for probably the last i want to say 10 months or so almost almost a year for the last almost one year i've noticed how time has sped up I wake up in the morning before you know it it's lunchtime and then it's dinner time look how fast the time has gone right now we've been here for three hours i can't even believe that in my opinion it's definitely changed you know something's happening something's happening uh you sound crazy okay cool maybe i sound crazy I'll take it. I'll be the one. You know? It's it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. If you take a look at your daily life, you'll see how quick time goes now, guys. Whoa. 
It's time for dinner. Whoa, it's time for bed, you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know I've noticed it. I know I have. I know I have. Melinda said, Yes, I agree. Time has sped up in my world. I hear this from a lot of people. See, Melinda? That's true. That's really true, guys. And I'm personally not sure if everybody is feeling it, but Melinda, you are, and people that you know have heard about it are feeling that way. And then for some other people, they're not. So it's interesting that it never used to be like that at all. I feel like when I was a child, I had so much time. And not just a child, like even when I was a teenager or even in my early 20s, I felt like a day was a long day. You know, you'd get up in the morning and there would be lunchtime, hours later and many hours later would be dinner time. And time just seemed so long. We had grace period we had a long grace period but i think it's coming to a close guys i think the grace period is ending i don't know when but it is coming to an end and the grace period is amount of time that we have before things get crazy you know especially the things that we've been talking about tonight it's getting close to closing and uh i know that that's true i just know that there's not a lot of time left for a lot of these things. And the old days are really gone. They're really gone, guys. Um, I think some people might have a bit of delusion when it comes to that, or they may not want to believe that. But I think, I truly think the old days are gone. I think the old values are gone, the old beliefs, the old time that we had it's just not there anymore i think uh that's why it's so strange to live in days like these you know it's really quite interesting overwhelming to even wake up every day and have to live in a world that we live in now it's not fun anymore not fun anymore do you guys know what i mean i wouldn't say this life's fun anymore um compared to when i was younger it, it seemed so more so much more promising if you know what i mean and now when i look at things i just don't see the promise in a lot of things um yeah there's still hope of course of course but I just, as a general, I don't see it much anymore. Um, and it doesn't feel... Right. It doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel good anymore. Um, in terms of the way the world is. You know what I mean? It's... Um, it just feels so much different to when I was growing up to now. You know what I mean? It's just so different. Um, and you can't really deny how different it is now. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's just, it's just a thought that I had, you know, thinking about, wow, this world has really changed, you know? So you can find your moments to have fun. Of course you can. But it just doesn't have that same feeling that it used to have it used to feel like we had so much time you know and now it doesn't feel like that anymore at least for me it doesn't feel like that so you know that's just one thing that i've kind of noticed probably in the last three or four years maybe you know or especially in the last two or so you know even probably since 2015 2015 i think round about 2015 is where things started getting a bit weird you know what i mean i mean i think 2010 really is probably when it really started getting strange once the 2000s were over once we hit the 2010s things started getting strange but then i think around about 2015 it kind of just went up a level and then now here we are in the early 2020s and it's like wow 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 you know what i mean you feel me
Yeah. So anyway, let's get into the scripture, guys. Let me grab the scripture. And then we'll pray and then we're done guys because your man's got to go eat his food and move on to my next thing but man we've had an amazing night tonight this has been fire this has been fire <sighs> all right guys <clears throat> so a little fact this teenage study bible as you can see used to sit on my desk in my room for years before i finally picked it up and started reading it you know it takes time it takes a maturity level it takes a certain maturity level that you need to finally sit there and read it or at least in my case now obviously I've matured a, matured a lot over the years <laughs> I mean you know go back and look at some of my first videos to now the change the glow up is wow um, and it's so funny being on this side of it and obviously I still have a long way to go I know I still have a lot of growing to do obviously but then you look back to when you're young and it's just like the cringe the cringe factor the major cringe the cringe of it all but at the same time it's beautiful because that was your experience you know that was your childhood that's what each individual has their own story you know you have something that you went through you had your awkward moments you know you had the things that you used to say or the the way that you used to act and behave and even though it is cringy <laughs> in some cases you look back and you think, wow, it's all part of my story, you know? It's all part of my story. Belinda said, from an eagle song, the more I know, the less I understand. So true. Yes, Melinda. Yes, Melinda. So true. Facts. Facts. Sorry, guys. i got to blow my nose in a minute. Um, thank you Melinda too for your input tonight I appreciate that have you guys subscribed to the channel if you have not make sure you subscribe and turn on my post notification bell to be notified when I go live next week the out of being react said have peace Ruben oh trust me trust me I'm really at peace I really am and for tonight I just felt compelled to do this for you guys Jesus said in Matthew, in the end, people will be against each other. Already happening. Wrong will be seen as right. That's definitely happening. And right will be seen as wrong. Yep. And that will be the last days. Bingo. Exactly right. Amen to that one, sister. You got it right. That's where we are, guys. Believe it or not. The final days are approaching. Believe it or not, guys. It's up to you. You can either believe it or not. That's up to you. But, yeah. The Art of Being React said, With wisdom comes sadness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I can see that. I can see that. For real, for real. I can definitely see that. That's dope. That's a dope comment. You get the W tonight for that. You get the W. That's a win. That's a win, that comment. <sighs> I think you carried the whole night by having that one comment wisdom with wisdom comes sadness because the sadness can definitely come you know no kissy no kissy it definitely can come all right let's get into this guys but yeah this used to sit on my desk for years and now we're gonna get into it 
the art of being react said i like that one eagle song i'm a drinker i'm a smoker <laughs> So, let's look at Revelation 21. Let me find it. Obviously, it's in the back. Why do I feel like I'm a teacher tonight? I feel like I'm... Okay, class. Time to open up to page 59. I feel like a teacher. Like, what the heck? Anyway. Revelation 21. Let me try and find it. Like I said, I haven't read this part of the Bible yet. So, we're going to get into that. Revelation 21 what is it one to four mm. wait revelation 21 where is that oh there revelation 21 one to four it's not a long scripture guys it's just short riley said enjoy your moments right now take care of your health love yourself and people around you yes yes for sure, for sure. All right, guys. 21 verse 1 to 4. Then I saw a new heaven and new earth. I'm reading from, from the book, by the way. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth have had passed away. And there was no longer any sea. I saw a holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for your husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and we will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who has seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, Omega the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this and will be his God. Will be. Oh, I will be his God. My mistake. And he will be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, or idol Id 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 idolaters people that do idolatry you know worshiping other things and all liars have their their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur this is the second death wow so the first death is when you die here on earth you know we die and the second death is you either go to heaven or you go to hell right um, so that's Revelation 21, 1 to 4. The next one is Mark 13, 19 to 20, guys. Now, obviously, there has to be context with these scriptures, but we're just doing bit by bit for now because we're going to start and we'll figure out where we're going from here, the kind of the order that we're going to do it. Um, so I'll just give you one more, and then we're going to pray, and then we're done, okay? We're going to pray for Brittany, guys, because she needs help. She needs help. Thank you for using the code words tonight, guys. I think I slipped up one time or a couple of times, but that's what happens, y'all. Uh, what's this? Her word. I've got something written on my book. I can't read what it says. Her word something. I don't know what that is. Drama, what? I don't know what that is um okay so mark 13 19 i don't actually know where that is i need to find it um the out of being reacts said good night riley uh, have a beautiful night yeah you too riley peace and love 
Melinda said, to me, the wisdom comes the feeling of overwhelming responsibility. Love from Colorado. Shout out to Colorado. Rebellion gang. Salute to Colorado. We love Colorado, guys. We definitely do. Awesome. It's from the Bible. Solomon wrote that in the book of e Ecclesi. I can't even. I never can pronounce that. That book. And yes, you are right, Riley. Um, I love this verse. I needed to hear that revelation 21 thank you really isn't that crazy how i just randomly chose that but it's it's never random is it it's always done it's always predestined i guess you could say not by me but god obviously wanted me to choose that for whatever reason and obviously it helped you so that's crazy i mean crazy good that's good good night they said yeah Okay, let's look at Mark 13, 19. 13, 51. It's crazy when... Wait, hold on. Mark 13, 51. It's crazy that when I get on these lives, I start talking like all professional and stuff. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, I start getting my announcer voice on. I end up being like, I don't know, Ryan Seacrest or something. Like the, the, um, what's the word? The, uh, the ethnic, the ethnic Ryan Seacrest. In terms of, obviously, I'm mixed race. So it's quite funny how I kind of turn it on. You know what I mean? But I don't usually talk like this. But it's like, I guess I'm in, in my purpose, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. But yeah, it's like, I just flick the switch and here I am, you know, announcing and talking like this, but I'm more, uh, what's the word? Obviously I have this wealth of knowledge, but I don't always bring that forward. Like I'm more kind of like chilled, laid back, fun, you know, just a vibe usually, you know, I have fun, but I can bring out this other side to me as well, you know? We all have different sides, and this comes out, this professional side of me comes out when I do this. I don't know why, but I'll be back to just chilling out soon after this, you know? Just gonna go eat some food, you know? <laughs> I love food, man. I can't help it, y'all. I love food. I'm, I'm a foodie, as they say. Anyway, let me get back on track. Um, Mark 13. Are you guys down for this? Are you down for this each each week? this kind of vibe we're going to talk about different things every week it won't just be Bluebeam or Brittany like it'll be whatever's at the moment you know um mark 13 19 20 13 mark 13 19 20 okay mark 13 oh 19 to 20 because those will be because those will be days of distress unequaled from the beginning when God created the world until now and never to be equaled again if if the Lord had not cut hold up one second guys sorry guys just had a phone call um but you know how we were talking about the short days and all that if the lord had not cut the cut short the da those days no one would survive hmm but for the sake of the elect whom have been chosen so you know the ones that have been chosen like me for example he has shortened them shortened them the days have been shortened at that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or look, there he is, do not believe it. So, you know, like the Project Blooms being stuff we're talking about, how they're going to have the fake, you know, the fake uh, 
second coming or the fake rapture or whatever you want to call it um yo that's crazy that we were just talking about that let me read that again because those will be the days of distress unequaled from the beginning when god created the world until now and it never to be equaled again if the lord had not cut short these day those days no one would survive but for the sake of the elect whom he has chosen he has shortened them at that time if anyone says to you look here is the christ or look there he is do not believe it for false Christs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and miracles to deceive the elect, if that were possible. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. So he's told us now, well, this was years ago, but he's told, it's like uh, connected to now. You know what I mean? It's making sense for now. He's told us ahead of time. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. Wow. So with the real, with the real second coming, but in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, men will see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory and he will send his angels and gather his elect from our four winds or from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens now this wait what now now learn this lesson from the fig tree as soon as it as it as its twigs get tender and it le and its leaves come out you know that summer is near even so when you see these things happening when you see these things when you see these things happening you will know that it is near right at the door so the time is you know how i was talking about time it's close it's close i don't know how close but it's close i tell you the truth this generation will certainly not pass away until all the things have happened so all the things have to happen first heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away in this book so he's talking about in this book heaven and earth heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away amen yo i <laughs> i've literally only read i think when did i get up to this much that's as much of the bible as i've read that much the first kind of like quarter not even a quarter look how much i haven't read yet i haven't read all that but i've read that and so that part we just read from i haven't even read that part yet that's mark those are the two scriptures that i had that i felt like i had to read let me uh, go back in the chat and see what you guys are saying Oh, this is the New International Version, NIV Bible. So, the Holy Bible, right? <clears throat> Which is actually a, a, a historical text as well. People, even people that are not Christians, um, uh, or, you know what I mean, even people that are whatever they are, um, or some people don't believe in anything, but um, they um, they know that the Bible is a real book. Like, it, it's it's legit, you know what I mean? um okay let me see i think we've covered everything so we're going to pray about Brittany, guys and if you guys um want to um if you would like prayer for anything let me know and i can do it if not we'll just pray about Brittany and then we're done because i actually really do need to go i need to hurry up and get out of here i got things to do but um laugh out loud our now announcer voice yeah it's like the announcer voice just clicks on you feel me okay let's see i thought you sounded a tad different speak ruben speak yeah i guess it's like you're once you get in your purpose or once you start to discover what you're really kind of once you just discover things about yourself i guess um you act accordingly i guess you know you 
Do what you need to do. Sorry guys, I'm just playing with my beard. Melinda said, thank you for being genuine. Good night and peace out. Peace out. Thank you, Melinda. I hope to see you next week, man. I mean, man. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hope to see you next week, ma'am. It's like, what do you call a, a female? Melinda, Melinda, Melinda. I'm not sure what age group you are, Melinda, Melinda but I'll just say, Melinda, see you next week, Melinda. The Art of Being Reacts said, wow, yes, we cannot trust any blue what, whatever. Yeshua, he said he will come on a cloud. Get ready, Ruben. Mark 13, was it? Praise the Most High, his spirit is with you. Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. Um, I'm not personally worried about it. For me, I'm not personally worried about it. I just, like I said earlier, a few times, I felt led to bring this to you guys. So that's that's what we're doing. You know, that's what we're doing. Good night, Melinda. Well, guys, let's just pray about Brittany and then we're out of here because it doesn't look like anybody else needs prayer. So, um, and don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. This is brand new to me too, okay? I have never really done this kind of thing before. But this is what we're going to be doing now, moving forward, okay? I'm not like a pro at this or anything like this. You know, you might be looking at Ruben going, man, what is this? I don't even know what it is either, to be honest with you guys. But this is the new way forward for Ruben Wills. Well, this is part of it. I'm not just one di di dimensional. Obviously, like I say, I'm, an, I'm a singer and I do other things as well. But this is one side of me as well. So we're going to do this as well as everything else. You know, it's so many things. But don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Ruben underscore Wells, guys. We'll be here every Friday night. Uh, it's on the screen right there. Thank you for the donations. Oh, no, we didn't get any. That's okay. It's all good, guys. I'm not looking for money, but it's just if you guys wanted to support. Hashtag Rebellion Gang. That is the name of my subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening to the truth tonight. Or in this case, if that I, I kind of have to call it allegedly. Thank you for listening to the stream anyway, whether it's allegedly or not. Thank you for listening. Um, and yeah. I just bring the truth and respectfully that's all I can do that's all I can do guys on this channel and yeah I don't know if this video will stay up but we'll see either way I'll be back next week okay so I don't know if I'll be back twice a week or just once a week I'm not sure yet but we'll find out in time but right now let's uh Pray for Brittany. We're praying for Brittany, guys. Who wants to pray for Brittany? I just need everybody to say amen in the chat at the end for Brittany, okay? And this is a real legitimate prayer for Brittany. As I pray to God for Brittany right now, because we need freedom for her. She needs freedom. And did you know that she actually grew up in a a believing household of God? So she has a belief in, in Jesus herself. Obviously, she's been through a lot of things in her life and trauma and a lot of crazy stuff. And, you know, who can blame her for the things she's been through? I don't. You know, she's been through a lot of things. But there's still a seed or a belief in God and inside of her. I do believe that. So I'm sure she's been praying for herself. But it's up for everybody else around the world at a time like this to pray for someone like Brittany who needs help. Yeah, okay, she's a celebrity. She's rich. $60 million. Okay. Still a human. Still needs love and freedom like every everybody else just like i need my freedom she needs hers so we're going to pray for her tonight guys um out of being react said this was awesome thank you enjoy your dinner oh trust me i'm gonna enjoy it i am going to enjoy it i'm just excited i'm so hungry and uh we're gonna go off next week too guys we're gonna bring some more heat next week to the live okay so just stay tuned for that fam it'll be fire that's all i can say that's all i can say you know you already know the vibes you already know the vibes you already know the vibes we have to talk about what's going to happen in july soon um hmm yeah i'll think about it i'll think about it the art of being reacts um 
I'll have to think about that one. That's all I can say. But everybody, let's pray for Brittany right now, guys. Lord, we come before you right now and we repent for our sins. I want to say, Brittany, 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 Lord. You know Brittany, and okay, she's a celebrity. We get that. Okay, it's only Brittany Spears, but Lord, she needs freedom, and only you can orchestrate that, Lord. So we pray for that now. I pray for it, and everybody else who is, uh, who is agreeing for that, we pray for that right now. And I pray that you can free her from her chains and her pain that she's in. And she's told the world that she's unhappy, she's depressed, she's angry, she wants to be free. So free her, Lord, and allow a way for her to be free. And only, only, only the way that only you can do it, Lord. No one else can do it. Only you can cause it to happen. So we pray for Brittany's freedom. We know you know her and you love her, Lord, just like you love me and everybody else in here tonight. And if you're watching this live, you were meant to be here, whether you believe it or not. And uh, God is good. So we pray to you, Lord, that you will free Brittany, just like the hashtag free Brittany movement. Free her now. I pray and thank you for tonight and I hope I did the best job that you could have hoped for tonight Lord I did the best I could I can only bring people the information that's all I can do it's up to them now thank you Lord I pray for tonight in Jesus mighty name amen amen guys in the chat all right I'm out of here guys I gotta go but thank you and I'll see you very very soon don't forget to follow me on Instagram guys at Ruben underscore Wills until next time, good night everybody, stay fly, and remember, stay humble, peace.